time for High Rollers D&D? &D? Uh, can't believe it. It's been so long since our last Aroas game. There, uh, remind me about the mission. Hello, everyone, and welcome <laughs> to Shadow Song Pinnacle. Hello, everybody, and welcome to High Rollers D&D. Uh, the premier Metal Gear Solid uh, uh, parody Dungeons and Dragons campaign. With me, <laughs> your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Uh, and we are here. We're back. It's time for more Erois. It's been so long. We've missed you. I forgot to tweet that we are live because uh, I was trying to find yeah. that stupid bandana. So um, <laughs> I'll do that as everybody else does their stuff. Uh, here's the players. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. We're here. Da -da 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 -da. We're ready to play the. Uh, we missed you. We love you. Uh, we hope you are all well. Um, shut up, you grumpy, grumpy Gus. Uh, we'll start. We'll we'll do introductions, starting with uh, Grumpy Gus herself, Kim. Uh, then we have hardworking Hi, tech lord uh, Chris Trot. Uh, <laughs> the lady in red. We have Katie. Uh, then we have the Chaos Twins themselves, Tom Hazel Aww. and Rhiannon. <laughs> Different a people. Double intro that I'm in this time. They're, they're different people. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! One person, yeah. two person. Mm. <laughs> um, oh, I thought you were going to yeah. do a. No, it wasn't. Again. We're going to yeah, do no. a whole thing. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, we have got also, a bunch of stuff. Muted. Even better. Oh, <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> oh no! Voice it's okay. Me. Don't worry. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, it's it. all right. There it is. I did it to myself. <laughs> Brilliant. Our own little chef. Um, no, we are going to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Before we get into all of that, uh, we do have a couple of things to talk about. Uh, the first of which is our wonderful returning sponsor, NordVPN. Chris a message from Gate Crasher. I destroyed oh. your stream last week. Here I am again. Ha ha ha. Oh no! What a oh, no, is it's the hacker from last what time! What a this week. Oh, no. We have invaded your oh, computer and uncovered oh, no. everything. Oh, it is <laughs> you, oh, Rian and Jay Dower. Hacking Rian. Oh, Deep it a oh, I swear. It's not your birthday anymore, lol. You are 50 years old. You like worms. Your blood type is Strahd. Time to sin. Accessing search history. Watch out, Tom Hazel. Why? Why did you look for that? Loading most embarrassing search term. Ha 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 ha. No. It is only on US Netflix. You will never watch it. Rhiannon, I've broken through. Don't worry, I'm going to help you. I'm going to use NordVPN, Rhiannon, and install it on your machine now. Super easy to use, Rhiannon. I'll just connect you to the United States. Ugh. Fixed it. Wait, what is happening? No. Curse you, NordVPN. See you later, gatecrasher. You'll never mess around with us again. You may have ruined Rhiannon's birthday last week, but you won't ruin NordVPN's birthday this week. Right, Rhiannon? Also, check your phone. I installed NordVPN on it. You're welcome. It's still February, which means it's NordVPN's birthday month, and they've got a special deal for you. How about you head to this link right here, where you can get a two-year plan and get an extra month thrown in free. And guess what? Because it's their birthday, they've got an extra special gift for you. What is that gift? They, they gave you more, even more time. Stay safe out there, everybody. Protect yourself with NordVPN. Maybe watch Mystic Pizza if that's your kind of thing. No worries if not. Goodbye. <laughs> God. Wow. I, had to, I was crap. watching it on like, the other screen. Wow. <laughs> that wow. was brilliant. Um, it's very much for the audience it. there, that one. Very yeah, much for the audience had, there. Oh, I, I can't us. deal with it when you do that thing with your mouth, when you do the like over enunciation. It just, it just gets me every time. <laughs> when he does the over enunciation. <laughs> Um, very good, yeah. very yeah. excellent uh, sponsor uh, segment there, Chris Trot. Once again, proving you're probably the funniest one out of all of us. Uh, thank you very That's much, NordVPN. Happy birthday. It is still February. Happy birthday, NordVPN. Please make sure you use the code HRDND and check out the link below. Uh, NordVPN, they keep coming back. 
we don't really know why, but they keep coming back to sponsor us, and we love them for it. Um, and yeah, it may not yeah, after that one. <laughs> may not after that one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Mystic Pizza, go and go and watch Mystic, Mystic Pizza. pizza. Everyone. Um, amazing. Uh, and eat eat other chaos. My favorite for that was like the search history of like the blood type Strad likes worms. Like it was very very cats with like yeah. tax evasion. Yeah. <laughs> I, pay my, I, I pay my taxes. Yeah, the worms don't. Very good. I mean, the worms. The worms, the worms don't pay tax. Yeah, the worms are back there as well. They live here rent free. <laughs> they ain't paying for shit. Look at them. You think these guys well, are paying for anything? No way. Freeloaders. Um, speaking of this. Rhiannon. Speaking of Rhiannon and her mad antics. Uh, if you haven't seen them already, uh, we have just started putting out uh, the recaps on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, Rihanna they worked really now. hard. <laughs> they exist. Uh, the first two chapters of Erois um, both have a recap with our lovely Rhiannon, as always, in her chaotic, mad nature. Uh, it breaks down the events of each chapter for you in the recaps. Uh, there's going to be more coming very soon, but if even if you've watched all of Erois, Go back. Remember some of the crazy things that happened yeah. and have it told to you in a madcap, fast edited, ridiculous style. Okay. <laughs> Lots of funny zoom ins. Um, I think the videos stand, they stand alone as entertainment alone. in and of themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah for sure. <laughs> Um, Thank you. And you should go and check them out. Rian worked really hard on them. And spread the word. If you've got friends who you want to get into a Rois and they're like, 102 episodes? I can't watch that. Ugh. You can say, well, guess what? You can watch this very nice lady in a very mad manner tell you what happened. <laughs> Here's the recaps. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think it does a good job of encapsulating just what High Rollers is. Uh, <laughs> very much so. Uh, yeah, go and check those out and spread the word about the recaps as well. And then the last thing I was going to mention is we still, I think, have some art cards in the store. I checked and they are still available for purchase. Is there a few left? I think I well, so. you better snap them up then because they're going to go. Um, if the, if the that, store says yeah. yes, then yes. That's, that's my assumption. Store says yes. It could be five. It could be 50. It could be one. I don't know how many are left. But if you want them, go and buy them now at our store, freshmerch.com, uh, uh, high rollers, uh, and grab them now. Yeah. Uh, right, that was right, it. Right. That, right. Like, do it now. Uh, that's it in terms of announcements, unless there's something I've forgotten, dear friends. Uh, I don't believe I guess so. Super quick. Uh, yep. If you like recaps, then we should probably thank Recall for the 100 gifted subs before we start. <laughs> I was going to do that like, <laughs> in the break. Sure. Um, very much. Wow, thank you very Tom. Much. Thank you. We'll, wow. we'll do Take things away. like donations, gift subs, and stuff like that. We will do that mid break and mm. then at the end of the episode. So if you do want to send us a little message, uh, you can use the donation thing below. Also, just because we never remind people about it, Twitch Prime is a thing. If you have an Amazon Prime account and you don't use your Twitch Prime sub, you get one every month. You have to do it new every month. You could throw it our way over on High Rollers D and D. You could do that. And I, I imagine some of them Why right not? now are like, of course, I totally forgot Twitch Prime. Smash it, thank you in advance. Smash it now. Uh, yeah. That's Smash it. Smash that sub uh, button, while, gamers. You may as well. You may as well while it's there. <laughs> Let's go, yeah. gamers. Go, we're gonna play the intro and then we're gonna do a recap of what happened uh, last time because it's been a little while since we did a Rois. Mm -hmm. um, and that's and it. Then we're gonna, we're gonna play gonna some do, D &D, uh, Then we're gonna take a break. Then we're gonna play some more D and D and then we'll do the outro. And uh, then the stream will be over. And then we'll see you on Thursday. Hey, Tom, <laughs> guess what? <laughs>
Welcome back to Erois. Last time, our heroes have traveled to Shadow Song Pinnacle, a weapons facility run by the Sky Pirates, the Wind Barons, in collaboration with the forces of Callus Valkyrian, ruler of the Valkyrian Empire, which stretches across astral space. Here, they have uncovered a multitude of foes and secret projects that are prepared for Callus to attack Erois. After gaining access to the higher floors of the tower, the party have encountered a Magitek-enhanced Gith Yankee warrior who slaughtered many of the engineers and scholars working on the focal project, Project Vanguard. After defeating this warrior, the party discovered one scholar who had hidden themselves nearby, Malatir Emrys. Fearing for his life and begging for safety, Malatir promised to reveal all about the project and take the party to the lower levels of the tower to recover their schematics and learn more. And that, my friends, is pretty much where we pick up again this week. If you have any questions, if you need refreshers on who looks like what and what's going on, what's do you say, it's been a while. What? What's a quill? A quill? It's a feather. Um... Would you it's like to describe and introduce write. your character, Tom? I'm not quite sure what you're getting at. No, I'm asking you. What's Quill? I, I haven't played him in so long. He is a, a, a birdman priest wizard. How right. do D and D? How do D and D? Well, you tell me what you want to do, and then I'll tell you what you need to do. How about that? Uh, to set the scene, you are currently in one of these Magitek laboratories that has been ruined. It's partially been destroyed. Um, there are, you know, kind of burnt papers and schematics, broken uh, crystal data slabs, uh, all of this kind of magitech is just lying in ruins around you. Um, there is this young Fire Ganassi scholar. He's dressed in, in scholarly kind of robes. Um, he has a thick pair of glasses um, and this wild mane of flaming kind of hair uh, all around him, looking very, very nervous. Um, not so much in fear of you, but as in fear in general, just sort of afraid of the situation he finds himself in um the there doesn't you've already searched this this room there wasn't too much left to recover um instead malatir has kind of offered his key card uh, his keystone sorry that leads to the lower levels um and that is pretty much where we pick up this week Ooh. right all righty so the immortal did we question. speak to him or did, did it you... stop just before we did <laughs> You spoke to him a little bit, but if you want to kind of re-question him, it has been a while. You're more than welcome to, and we'll just assume I'd... that it's sort of like, yeah. I just oh, yes, think he, remember he... threatening him, so yeah. we yeah. definitely did speak to him. Yeah, we you definitely that... threatened him and, and imposed that, yeah, if he wanted to, you know, that he would be best served in telling you everything he knew. Um, and I think that the general the general gist, he didn't really go into details more through fear than lack of wanting to say anything, but he did tell you that he was part of a team that worked on something called Project Vanguard. Um, it, it seems to be a project to create a super weapon for Callus, uh, and that it was stored in the lower levels of the tower, but it has already been taken out. Um, the project was completed and the final version was shipped away via some sort of big magic portal. Um, but he said that the schematics and some of the plans were still down there and that if you wanted them, he would take you down there to find them. Apart from that, you, you didn't get, you didn't ask really any more specific questions. Um, if you want to ask him specific questions now is a good time to do so. And I'm sure did Kim has notes us? that will say he did tell us about this and blah, 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 which I rely on Kim's notes and knowledge to, to inform me. No, oh, that's did pretty he... much all we were told. Okay. Did he offer us a key card? I distinctly remember a he high did, level key card. He's offered his keystone, yes. He has like it on a key kind star. of like leather, yeah, the leather necklace. He kind of is offering this flat stone disc um, that is inscribed with the uh, rune of six, the elvish rune for six. Um, and yeah, he's just offering that out. It's just... Uh, uh, it. uh, please, uh, I, uh, whatever you need, I, I, I'm happy to tell you anything. Just... If I can ask one thing, just get me out of here. Get me away from the Empire. I, I don't want to help them anymore. Please. Well, you've helped them enough so far, and they have some sort of advanced weapon. I didn't have weapon. a choice. I didn't have a choice. You, you don't understand. If I had refused to come here, 
they just would have found somebody else. They would have hurt me, hurt my family. Uh, you, I understand. You don't say no. I understand. However, I hope you can help us now and understand yes. the error you have of questions. Uh, I'll take you down to the lower levels. There, there's something here. One of the labs, um, uh, something we were developing, uh, a kind of uh, security tool. You can have that. I, I can unlock where it is. Of course, yes, that would be useful. And if there are any attempts to lead us to enemies or guards, oh, we are hyper vigilant. No, 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 we, we have an all seeing that, eye. Haven't we? <laughs> haven't we? Yes, yes. And I'll just bring up the, the hammer. Tall, strong again. woman has made yeah. it very clear. Uh, there's no benefit to me misleading you now. Uh, you saved my life. Uh, this is a chance for me to escape. Uh, <laughs> I'm not here because I want to be. I'm not working for the Emperor because I want to. Uh, you've given me a chance. I, I promise. Uh, I'm not trying to deceive you. All right. So, we need to know and gain evidence of a threat to Aroas, specifically a council meeting that's happening soon. Do you know anything of that? What? Uh, I don't know anything of this meeting that you've mentioned, but, I mean, all of my work here, it's not been about anything like that. Uh, there's an individual, uh, one, he's like you, and he points at you, Lucius. Um, uh, some sort of elf from here on Aroas. Yes, that I know one. that he's, he's been developing his own weaponry. He's quite brilliant. Uh, magically engineered he has a great knowledge of ethereum this wonder product that you have on your planet he's been very clever with that stuff and um i know that he's been building weapons and tools but that's not that's not the emperor's plans the emperor's sole purpose for this facility was project vanguard that was its purpose but they were this elf was provided uh means and a room and staff in here? Of course. His knowledge of Ethereum has been invaluable to Project Vanguard. That We wouldn't have been able to build it without his expertise. Um, we need this to go... This material, this Ethereum, is, is something that none of us from the Empire have ever seen before. Um, we needed Erosians to tell us how it works. Now we can see the potential and it's underused. It's... Uh, your people have managed to find a way to make the most of their own knowledge. They've perfected the kind of intricacies of using it, but they have its, its potential is untapped. It's incredible. We Yet you have mean limit. to wage war on this planet, the very planet that you say has valuable resources, you mean to start conflict here? Not, not me. The Emperor, yes, but... I, I, I'm a, I'm a researcher, uh, an engineer. I'm fascinated by things, uh, technology, magic. But uh, war is, it's just, well, it's a thing that exists in the empire. There's no escaping it. We all know the threat of the hung, the hungering one. We know that Callus keeps it at bay. If there are tools to help us stop it, I feel it's necessary i didn't know anything about this world about this uh, the, these attacks uh, you just see him kind of he he definitely kind of withdraws like you can see there's a lot of shame um quill i think especially with your insight you, th he's very ashamed of like the things he's been working on but there is a genuine sort of he does clearly enjoy building things and he probably didn't really consider the implications of exactly what he was doing um. I think we've seen curiosity from Nova as well. I, 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 I think we all appreciate the willingness to learn and discover um, and the excitement that comes with that, regardless of repercussions. Um, but we need blueprints to take down this Bologna. We need to find well, anything. I, I mean, if they tried to kill... The other researchers and I, I mean, I'm hoping that there's still something that we can salvage. Most of the people here are not engineers. My theory is that even if they've destroyed some of the physical records, we may be able to access some of the magical uh, 
uh, data storages. Um, do you, and he looks at you, Nova, seeing that you have like Magitech. He's like, you don't happen to have a, a data a data crystal on you, do you? Uh, something that I can, they've destroyed and taken all of ours, but if you have something like that, I may uh, be able I, to pull something from our files. In fact, I do. I have a data slab here that I took from oh. that planet. Perfect. <laughs> Elysium. Oh. <laughs> A data crystal, a data slab, that sounds something a, a little primitive. Uh, data crystal, but yes, this would be perfect. I might be able to pull something from the, the records below. Um, yes, let's, let's, I'll take you there now. I'll, I'll take you there immediately. And, and you see him go to leave uh, without considering that he might be, might not have been given permission to leave. <laughs> so if you want to stop him, uh, he just goes to leave the room. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, hey, oh, hey, yes. hey, 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 uh, M Malatir, um, uh, as call a me fellow Mal. Ganassi, Mal, uh, as a fellow Ganassi and someone who very much, uh, enjoys your vibe, um, I just want to give you a quick heads up, and I'm going to point to Sentry, yes. I'm going to point to Ayla, I'm going to say, you need to, you need to not just walk off and make sudden movements, because these two, they might, you know, bop you on the head and it's really hard to do hit you in the face with a hammer you, you know head. pull you back into the room yeah listen right, to the Ganassi. Right, okay um well it's and he points out the door like we need to go out there and uh, there's a device that i can fetch for you it's in the the lab next next if you take me there i, I can show you Hey, let's head out. I think Ayla's gonna take yeah. note of like Nova. And she, if if Nova gives the nod to go, she'll be like, "All right, mm. yeah." <laughs> yeah. Start, maybe. But she's gonna stand Can very I close kinda... to him, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. Go on. Can I like sort of um like go with Mal in a way of like I'm trying to talk to him just to keep him calm and just to keep him like mm -hmm. I guess there's someone who kind of identifies with him in that kind of a curious mind just try to keep him from freaking out and everything but also just so I can be next to him and make sure he doesn't like try to screw us over or run away or anything like that. I don't think he will but sure I guess just sure keep him calm. you can you can basically walk next to him and talk to him and then that way if he mm -hmm. does try to do anything you'll be pretty quick to notice especially if Ayla is close by as well um yeah it, unless unless otherwise unless you have anything else mal will lead you out of this kind of immediate magitech lab and um he does divert away from the elevator and starts heading up uh towards another room um there's just something in here that, that i think you should have uh, and he, he points to the the door all right, um, I'll go check, I mm. guess. Um, can I just double check uh, the door? How about you first? Like how yes, about you yes. lead the way, buddy? Well, that that would be easier, yes. I just didn't want to get punched in the face. Um, and he will kind of take the lead. He swipes the keystone on the door. Uh, it opens. Um, you kind of hear like the heavy metal kind of like hiss or click. He opens it. Uh, and you do see that there is a, a kind of a workshop um, in here. Um, and there are lots of half-finished projects, um, weapons, armor, shields, but none of them seem finished. Um, they all seem to be kind of in the process of being designed. But on a single, uh, on, a, on a table, um, kind of suspended by a kind of metal frame, is a long uh, metal rod uh, with a gemstone, uh, a kind of pulsing blue gemstone at the end. Um, and he points that and says, just like, there, uh, that's one of the devices we were working on. It's something of a countermeasure to some of the technology we were uh, building. Um, it's, a, it's a kind of anti-infiltration device, uh, and he points at that. Hmm. And this, How will this work? work on this Project Vanguard you've been mentioning? No, it's 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 really not even not even close to working on Project Vanguard. Project Vanguard is um, something different. Um, you know, did you uh, when you were fighting um, Falkstra, uh She has a sort of ability to turn invisible. You, you probably noticed that when you were fighting. Um, one of the side projects we were working on here is more infiltration magitech um, to spy and scout on your world. This may be something that is of use to you as individuals. Um, it is called a rod of alertness. Um, it, it is. Uh, it makes it easier to, to notice things around you, but also it can provide you with um, uh, protection against invisible creatures in, in, in for a time. 
um, it creates like a zone, an area of effect where it is uh, invisible creatures will become visible. It provides you bonuses to your defenses. Um, and he just points at it. One of you can take it. Uh, you don't need to identify it because Malatir has kind of ex explained it to you. Uh, it does require attunement, I think. Um, but somebody can add a rod of alertness to their uh, inventory. Hmm. Hmm. Who hmm. would want this? Uh, I don't have the space for it. Yeah, I don't have any achievement space. I don't think anyone has any achievement space, do they? You can just no. add it to the equipment and figure it out no. later. Okay. Uh, would you mind if I took it? Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh. Go for it. Yeah, go for okay. it. Yeah. It is um, Nova <laughs> touching it. So it's I think an incredibly well-made piece of magitech and physical magical enchantment. It's it's like a combination of like Erosian magic and magitech um, kind of combined. Mm -hmm. it, it seems powerful. Like you hold it and you're like, this is definitely got a lot of uh, strong magic. Yeah, I nice. think in, in terms of RP, like Nova would almost forget herself in this whole potential Brookstone, Brookstone situation and seeing all this kind of technology around her would be like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, is that is that a flux capacitor? How does that work? Like, and just like start babbling away like with Mal, like asking questions of like how it works and the power supply and the projection yeah. field and all this, you know. Yeah, the, and, you, and he is very it. clearly a Magitech engineer. Like, he he understands it all and explains the device. He points at the other projects. Most of these are failed prototypes. That they didn't work as we are intending them to. Um, most of it is, is tools, weapons, armor, that sort of thing. Uh, nothing of... Things like this rod are more my uh, speciality. I, I like finding creative solutions and finding ways to take old enchantments and old magitech and finding new ways to use them. Um, uh, and yeah, after that, he's just like, well, I just wanted, I felt that perhaps this is a way to help gain some of your trust that I'm here to help. Um, you should take this. It will be useful to you, I think. That's appreciated. Thank you. Let's keep uh, moving. Right, now, if we just head to the uh, the elevator, I'll take you down to uh, the, the lower basement. Yes, lead the way. Okay. Yeah, without any interruptions uh, to save some time, uh, he takes you to the uh, elevator. You have this kind of round sigil device in the middle. Uh, he taps his keystone to it and then presses the, uh, the rune for the bottom level of the tower, B3. Um, he presses that and you feel the elevator kind of shudder, the chains along in each corner. And the whole thing begins to descend. Um, it takes a little bit of time. Again, you're not 100% sure exactly how far down you go but it does seem to take a little bit of time uh mal kind of nervously taps his feet and looks around he keeps like wringing his hands um just in a general kind of nervous state uh but when you reach the bottom the doors open and it looks out into a very dark uh, dimly lit by a couple of glowing orbs set into the ceiling uh workshop um with the main thing that you notice is that the room is completely stone except for one wall which appears to be completely made of glass but the glass is dark like there's only darkness beyond it um inside this room you see that it has very clearly been uh sabotaged uh, most of the physical records any books any pieces of you know scroll cases and parchment have been destroyed torn up burnt um leaving really not even remnants left there's no like things that you can stitch together it's either been burnt or it's been completely broken uh there are also several large crystalline pillars and they have been shattered um but mal points at them uh, they've destroyed the pillars but as expected from these sky pirates they don't quite fully understand how this works um uh, nova was it uh, miss viger uh I think that your your data crystal, we can interface it with these and pull some of the data off. We may not be able to get everything, but we should be able to get some of the, the information, some holographic projections, some schematics, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, let's go do it. Uh, do, do we need okay. anything? Uh, any cables? or? Uh, no, no, it should be fine. It should just, uh, once it touches the crystalline interface, it should just begin transferring the, the information. Um, uh, he points at the window. Well, the rest of you, while we're doing this, there's nothing really to see, but this should give you a, an idea of scale of Project Vanguard. 
Uh, and then he takes Nova and he begins going over to the crystal pillar. Um, what before, are the rest of you doing, by the way? As we, oh, go on. I'm as going we with Nova. Off, can I, yeah, I was going to say, can I kind of make quick eyes at Ayla? Like, kind of like, mm, sure. mm, 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 like come with come me. With I don't yeah. trust myself. So, so she, <laughs> she, she's not leaving them. Okay. She's going with them. Okay. She's so Nova and Ayla go with, go with Mal. To sure. Mal, just at all times, Luke. just like waiting yep. for him. And yeah, he's and very he's, aware. he's nervous. You can tell that this you being around him makes him uncomfortable. Um, in a he's afraid sense. Uh, Lucius, Quill, and Sentry. What about you guys? Is there anything you guys want to do while the the two nerds yeah. go at it? So there's a window separating this room from the Project Vanguard room, right? That yeah. we can't really see through. Okay, I mean, I guess it's, it's because yeah, it's so that. dark on the other side, right? Like in here, you have this dim light of these glowing orbs, um, but in the the beyond the glass, it's just like dark. And I think if Quill, do you, like, if are you going to go up and look through the glass, or do you like still I'll linger in the have room? Have a look, yeah. And is there any like door to actually access that room, or is it just totally separate? Yeah, there is a door. Yeah, there's a door set okay. into it. it's like um, there's a section of the glass that's like a metal frame has been put into it, and then there's like a metal door. Um, but when you even look up the glass, it, it's just like darkness. It's like looking through a window into a huge cavern, and you don't see walls, you don't see ceiling. It's just darkness um, beyond. Mm, okay. All right. I mean, I, I I very much like to get into that room. I can use the eye to find out what it was, what its purpose is, when he intends to use it. I can find out anything about this weapon that we need to know. It's just, I, I, I'm wary of using it now. Um, we can't see into the room from here. Let's wait for the right moment. Um, sure. Also, we need to think about our escape plan in case alarms sound or mm. anything like that. And let's not forget that we have others under our protection as well. Uh, we have to coordinate all of that and give them the clear uh, message yeah. that to escape. I can keep watch by the door um, in case anybody comes. Good idea. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, the um, the door that leads out of this room, by the way, Quill. I mean it looks to just be a normal door you don't see like any signs of a locking mechanism there's no um metal there's no stone plate like you've seen on some of the magically sealed doors here it just looks like a mundane door that you would take you know out into a, a space um okay. nova uh so, you and malati uh go on tom uh, so um malachi when i look back at him or what was his name sorry mal mal malati malati he says call, call him mal. his name is mal mal right when i look back at mal um Mm -hmm. He's extremely nervous. When I look at him, is he nervous of Ayla or is he like looking around, almost waiting for something make to um, happen? Make an insight check. Cool, 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 cool. Insight what's, check, everyone. What's that? It's what's, happening. It's one of those. Yeah. Woo! 31 oh. with a nat 20. Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> X-ray vision. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's you know insight is not a, a lie detector. Insight is reading somebody's body language and noticing minute behaviors and patterns and you know reading their facial expressions and things like that. Looking at Malatir, <clears throat> it's like I said before. You get the sense that this is somebody who is deeply regretful. Like the way that he looks, he was the way that he was looking around the lab when you were upstairs. The way that he looks at the places here, he looks sad. He looks sorrowful. He looks ashamed. You read these kind of like pained looks when he kind of like glances at the columns and he's downloading this this information to uh, to Nova's magic crystal. You know, he looks ashamed. Uh, he's not glancing around like he's expecting anything to happen. Like his body's tight, but only when Ayla is like looming over him. Like you see yeah. him like yeah. cringing, like the way that you would if you had an imposing figure stood behind you. You know, you'd be consciously aware of that. But he's not glancing I mean, I around waiting for something bad to happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And the way that he's talking with Nova, the way that he's he's showing her like ways to use this data crystal that Nova didn't know, he's he's explaining how everything works. Like he does seem very genuinely passionate about things, um, and he seems to see a bit of a kindred spirit in Nova. And yeah, okay. you get the impression that actually everything he said has been pretty much on the level. You do genuinely think he wants to escape. You do genuinely believe that he is glad of your protection in a sense um okay 
So, like, sorrow that a passion project is now over, and also regret that of, of what the actual it's, project is. Yeah, you get the sense that, like, there is, like, an element of pride in, like, I've built this amazing piece of magical technology. Oh, God, it's being, it's going to be used to, like, kill lots and lots of people. That makes me sad. You know, that's definitely yeah. the kind of impression you get. And then his nervousness okay. is because he is a scrawny little fire ganassi. He looks like, you know, Ayla would snap him in two, and he's terrified of her. Um, All right, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess over messengering, like, I he is nervous, I know, but I I actually think we can trust him. So, Ayla, maybe you don't need to be so... Well, I, I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, I'm just being me, Quill. I'm just, just being myself here. It's all good. It's all fine. <laughs> okay. you're, you know? be, you're being you very close to him, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I can back off, like, maybe two centimeters. That'd That'll be okay. Do. Okay, That'll I'll do, do that then. Yeah. You do that. There is even like a there is a like slight bit of relief when he senses even just a tiny movement away. Um, you get a sense. <laughs> so, Sentry, you want to stand by? Are you standing by the elevator doors, or are you standing by the door into the larger open chamber, the but on this glass? Uh, by the elevator doors, in case anybody else okay. so comes down. Wait there. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And then Lucius, what about yourself? And then I'll jump to uh, Nova. I'm just hovering, but watching intently. I'm not really like okay. imposing myself. I'm just observing, really. Okay. So Nova it takes a little bit of time, um, but eventually uh, you begin to see holographic projections and holographic script, uh, like illusory script, appear on the data crystal. Like you've seen this before when you were on Aegis Five, you were able to download like these kind of magical scrolls. Like it's just the text. It's like you know having a scroll on your crystal that can be deleted and edited and things like that. You know, it's like a text file, basically. Um, but with it, there are some magical um, illusory projections of something. Um, the first word is Project Vanguard, you see. And then there is some text. <clears throat> the Titans of Erois are powerful individuals, but without Siaska, their power has waned considerably. Atelicus is one of the greater physical threats, and our current war golems will not be sufficient to overpower him. We need something bigger, stronger, capable of facing off against a titan. Then there's like a couple of line breaks. The Colossus, Project Vanguard. Gargantuan construct. Reinforced armor plating, high density structural frame, infused with wards and protections to make it impervious to non-magical means, and give it limited ability to resist magical effects. Line break. An Ethereum infernal infused engine to power the device and its multitude of elemental weaponry. The miraculous properties of Ethereum are incredible. The scholars of Erois have learned to use it efficiently, but have only just begun to tap into its potential. It contains faint echoes of the Genesis well and divine energy signatures. The Colossus will be able to function independently as though it were a golem. However, it will have structure inside it for a crew to operate it from optimal military efficiency. A network of control nodes runs through its body like nerves, and a control device stationed in the head allows someone to guide its movements and use reactionary tactics. A couple of line breaks. We have considered multiple weapons and devices as armaments. Two arcane turrets, physical attacks, and a powerful ethereum-enhanced light cannon will be equipped for certain. But the scholars of Ganas have been toying with elemental-bound systems, storm shields, flaming weapons, magnetic arrays, high-pressured water systems, even flight capabilities. We'd be unable to power all of these, but at current engine output, we suspect at least two would be possible. And then, uh, with a couple of taps of runes, Malatir uh, brings up a holographic image of a gargantuan humanoid shape. Big chest, large head, shoulders, arms. You can see the outlines of magical turrets and what appear to be spaces within the creature that 
a unit of elite soldiers could be stationed in, where mages can be stationed, uh, enough to transport a small unit of troops and accompanying mages inside the creature as well. You see access points at like the feet, the uh, the back. Um, you basically see like a, the, the structural kind of technical layout of this huge, like gargantuan sized beast. Um, this would be at the same sort of size uh, as kind of uh, probably bigger than anything you've ever encountered like, this is bigger than airships this is enormous you know this is huge yeah. <laughs> to, to a, a, a scary size um yeah okay all right so okay. only yeah. only nova can really see that on the the at crystal. the moment yeah at the moment she's yeah. the mallet is showing yeah. it to just nova um, okay and he's cool just like, it's this, not like projected this, huge this, is what i'm saying yeah. not yet okay. no cool mal you you created a titan killer well not it wasn't it wasn't just me i've always loved constructs golems i used to build them for fun back on ganas uh, the idea of creating uh, protectors guardians things that could function and move like people but could you know, farm fields that could that serve as soldiers so that people wouldn't have to die that's what i wanted to build Callus wanted something bigger. The team were convinced that they could create the ultimate weapon. And you have. He looks. He looks. He looks terribly ashamed. Uh, Do you know where this is being sent to? I don't know. We weren't told things like that. We were kept here, basically forced to work on it. Um, I know that they used a very powerful spell, uh, Gate, uh, to transport it through to somewhere here on Aroas. The, the cradle, this barrier around your world, it still is blocking planar uh, magic. Things can't be taken in and out of it, except for seemingly in a very specific set of circumstances that only the Emperor and a few of his trusted individuals know. But I know that it was sent somewhere here on Aroas. I just... I have no idea where. There's no record of it. it. It was all done so quickly. I mean, I won't lie. The, the techno technological advancement on this is incredible, but please tell me you put a failsafe in that. Why would we do that? Building a weapon, there's no reason to. This is under the command. The only... I mean, it is a creature. It, it can be fought. Um... The only thing which I can think of uh, for weaknesses is that if a team, if somebody were able to get inside the Colossus, the control nodes, it's very difficult for even a golem to operate all of its functions at that size with uh, to that degree of, uh, of, of power. If you could disable some of the control nodes, you would be able to slowly shut down some of its systems. But inside, I mean, there's space there for the best of the best, the, the finest Valkyrian troops. And to head it all, you would need an incredibly powerful mage to command the whole thing. And even just getting close enough to it, uh, being able to open its hatches, you'd have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this thing. But that's the only thing I can think of. No, Ayla, no. This is way I... bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, at this point, like Nova, if you wanted to kind of like like show everybody, you can project the, the hologram a little just... bit bigger so everyone can see it. I just want to say one last thing to Mal before I do mm -hmm. that, but I just want to mm -hmm. turn to him and say, this is, this is brilliant, Mal, and I understand. I understand why. I understand more than these guys will about the need for knowledge and and to build a beautiful terrifying creation like this but i was in a similar situation to you i i tried i was tempted to make deals with the devil for for knowledge for information i thought i could use it against hadar and it was devastating it led to devastating consequences I know. I know. 
I know you know the ramifications of this, and I hate to say it, but you're gonna have to live with those consequences, you understand. But I know. maybe, I know. maybe you can help, you can help stop this. We're gonna get you out of here, we're gonna turn you over to the I... prince. You need to give Here's... all your knowledge, because we need to stop this thing. I will, but... I, I I know you're all defending your home, in a sense, but <clears throat> this machine, it was built to fight your titans, these, these beings of your world, but it was also built as a weapon against Hadar. The Empire, it's holding Hadar back, but this isn't something that is openly talked about, but I overheard things. Hadar is getting more aggressive. It, it, it's it's angry. It's pressing on its boundaries. It's 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 stretching Valkyrian's forces like it hasn't before, and that has had ramifications through the Empire. There is an there is a belief that Callus is there is something about your world. Maybe it's the Ethereum. Maybe it's these Guardians. And he points at Sentry. I I don't know, but there's something about this world that Callus thinks is the only way to stop Hadar. This machine, this Colossus, this might be one of the things that can help us hold Hadar back. I know you have to destroy it, we have to stop it to save your world, but in doing so, you might be condemning the rest of the, well, the rest of the multiverse. But, Mal. I'm just an engineer, that's, it's, I'll help. I'll give whatever information I have. I'm not... I can help you build the sword, but I can't use it. I don't know how. Callus wants to use the entire planet to, to use it as a weapon against Hadar. He wants to condemn an entire planet worth of people. Now, I have my thoughts on this, but do you think that's right? right wrong it's when you're so drowned in the empire sometimes it's hard to see what that means but i know one thing maybe it's hard for you all but i do believe that ultimately the emperor himself i don't think he's a no that's not the right way to say it if the emperor thinks that the only way to stop hadar is destroying this world I do genuinely believe that that might be the only option he doesn't he doesn't take risks he doesn't need to he doesn't he doesn't throw away lives he doesn't need to he values life but I think he sees it as a, a lesser evil still uh, that's too philosophical uh, too philosophical for me i'm just a i'm just an engineer but um and then he'll kind of say you should show the others what they're dealing with yeah thanks mel um thanks. Uh, hey everybody you can see that he he looks pretty shaken up so yeah uh yeah yeah team meeting this is Project Vanguard, and I'll project it up um, and yeah. point out all you the salient this. features. Yeah. Lucius is wide-eyed at such a device. It's... Surely it's not that big. It is. Yeah. It is. What, so you built, a, you built a titan killer. A titan killer, Mal! Yes, we did. This Atelicus, this is apparently. Atelicus? Is, oh, he's meant to be the. From Callus's uh, data, uh, from the reports we received. I mean, Callus is one of the few who was actually here, and he said that Atelicus was his greatest physical threat on your world. Um, easily capable of dealing with many of our smaller, the smaller war machines, armies. But with his power waned, uh, 
Project Colossus, the Project Vanguard, was was built to not just defeat him, but also be a weapon against things like Astral Dreadnoughts and, and Hadar Spawn, uh, very powerful things that are out in the astral space. But ultimately, yes, it was built to take on uh, a fully powered Titan of Aroas. And we believe we exceeded those expectations. I, based on the data, what we know of Atelicus' strengths and abilities, the Colossus should win. Why has it come to this? There is... Considering ah, the Titans could have helped, we could have all banded together to fight. You Why do we have to... It's a question you have to ask the Emperor. That's beyond my... And I did ask him. And he said... He said that he wasn't open this time to negotiation because when he's tried in the past, it hasn't worked. Well, then he's condemned us all. What can we do? Look at it. Well, we're going to do something. I refuse to be a part of another planet that is taken out because of him thinking that that's the only solution to this. It's not. Lucius said this. We've got more than one god. So put that together. Use that to fight. It's it's only a small thing. I mentioned this to Nova, but I, there's no there's no failsafe or weaknesses, but the structure of this thing, this isn't this isn't like a guardian. This isn't like um, a normal golem. Such a size, such power requirements. It can't all operate. Uh, fully, there are control nodes, things inside the Colossus. If, if somebody were be, if a team were able to get inside, they would be able to shut down the Colossus's components, its arms, its legs, its weaponry, piece by piece. It can house elite troops inside, and even getting inside of it, well, that's a challenge you'd need to overcome, but this thing was not built to take on a small group of highly skilled, very powerful individuals. It was meant to take on armies and other giant creatures. If you were all, I, I heard you fighting against against Falksra. I, you, you've beaten the guards of this place. From the sounds of it, you've dealt with a lot of things. You may have a chance, maybe. I can show you its access points. I can show you the ways that you can get inside of it. I can tell you about weapons, but even I don't know its final um, armaments. Uh, we planned, we designed, but some of those were going to be built um, off-world and then sent here. Um, scholars of Ganass, and he points at Nova, they were working on elemental weaponry. Uh, but I don't know which ones it will be equipped with in the final design. Have we got everything we need? To bring is there back anything to the about? Space. Is there anything about? <laughs> this is all I this? could recover. Uh, I mean, Demo De Democles, he was the one who helped us break through with the Ethereum engine. Um, you know, the Golem is powered by a, an infernal engine, a, a device kind of bound to an exceptionally powerful devil or demon. But that alone wasn't powerful enough. Ethereum. Ethereum has the ability to enhance magical abilities, and if it's constructed, if it's latticed in the right way, the effect can be 10, 20, 30, 100 fold. That's the only way we could make something this big, this powerful. Uh, Ethereum is, is very, very exceptional, but it needs to be managed in the right way. It's also incredibly unstable. Um, the wrong thing can send surges of powerful magic through it and, and can cause explosions and all sorts of all sorts of uh, com complications. Um, Democles is the one who helped us break through that, and he's been experimenting with his own things. Um, it's about this time, uh, as you guys have been discussing this, uh, the lights in the room grow brighter, and outside the glassed wall, lights begin to, <laughs> and they illuminate a chamber big enough to house this gargantuan project, this Project Colossus. And it is like, you're probably talking like nearly 100 feet tall, like this chasm. It is 
enormous, probably bigger. Uh, I haven't worked out the size category of it yet, but it's it's gargantuan in D&D sizes. And mm -hmm. you can see like there is a scaffolding, like metal scaffoldings have built, been built up the side so that people could build and construct and things, but it is empty. It's just completely void of anything. Just the scaffolding in the space. And as all these lights come on, uh, a image begins to flicker in the middle of the room, kind of like a projected illusion begins to... Uh, and appearing is a um, not particularly handsome, rather plain looking high elf um, dressed in kind of Gusthaven clothes, although they're not particularly ostentatious um, with a kind of uh, pair of um, goggles, it looks like on the top of his head uh, with a kind of belt of tools, um, a sword at his side. Uh, and Lucius, you would recognize it as the younger brother of, of uh, Bellinor Magrona, uh, Democles Magrona. Uh, the illusion doesn't look, it kind of looks around, but it doesn't focus on any of you in particular. Uh, it just kind of looks around. Ah, well, I'm assuming that somebody has drawn some of the files. I, my intellect suggests that this is you, Lucius, given your overcoming of Ironstaff and the others. I know that my brother has been growing something uh, somewhat suspicious lately. I imagine he would come to you, which I find a little, well, a little whimsical, a little ironic. You've probably seen what we've been building here at Shadow Song Pinnacle now. It's quite, quite the marvel. Truly, the Magitech of the Valkyrian Empire is beyond anything I could have imagined. And it's certainly beyond anything the traditionalists like your father would have ever allowed Gusthaven to become involved with. Too busy sitting in the past, doing what has always worked for, well, 500 years. Never changing, never growing, never evolving. I wanted to leave a message. I am sorry that you got involved in all of this. Of your family, I think that at least you never meant harm. You never meant to For all your ignorance, for all your privilege, for all your naivety, you were ignorant to the insults and way you would demean others around you. I think that you have a kind heart. And sadly, the rest of your family were not so innocent. Still, things are going to change now. Valkyrian really offers something that I think all of Aroes needs. No more tradition. No more putting princes on thrones simply because they were born with the right blood. Elevate up the people with the skill, the knowledge, the strength, the will. They're the ones who should succeed. The ones who should be listened to. I think it's an exciting opportunity for all of us. Callus knows how things should be. Everyone should have the same chances. Education for everyone. Opportunities for everyone. And then those with the natural talent and the skills, they succeed. No more boundaries. No more manacles of tradition, fear, privilege. There was one you probably don't remember. I remember Bellinor. You probably don't know this about our family, but we were never really that rich. Mother made a good show of making it look like we were, but many of our business failings were disasters. Father left us in terrible debt. She went to your father for help, but he never offered it. They had a sordid past, your father and my mother. She loved him deeply, spurned her. So we were always, well, scrimping and scraping. Bellinor would sneak down to the lowlands. He would fight in taverns against thugs and mercenaries to earn enough money to buy his own set of jousting armor. He spent months saving up for that armor. And finally, he went to the training grounds for his uh, 
his first trials. And there you were, stood there in the finest, prettiest plate mail that money could buy. Oh, it enraged him. Of course, you didn't know. You didn't know any better. You never did. But I'll always remember it. So strange to think of that memory now. Of course, this is all really just to keep you in this room, to stop you noticing what's really happening. It's all just been a big distraction, I'm afraid. Right about now, the last of my soldiers should be done sabotaging the Ethereum refinery. There won't be anything left of this facility when it destroys itself. It's nice knowing you, Lucius. And the illusion fades. Done over all the lights go off. All the lights just plunge into darkness. Everything just goes black. What do you guys do? I we need to go. I was going to... Yeah, I, and just shout, I, I was going to say... I, yeah, I wanted to start moving yeah, I was while in, the speech yeah, was happening, I was but I didn't want to. I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, your amazing dialogue. <laughs> I was going to be That's like, fine. She just, just leave. He's ahead of That's fine. Let's go. Because I imagine, mm. I would imagine that Lucius would not have left whilst that was going on. Mm. Um, yeah, considering yeah. it is the person connected to his family's death and everything else. Um, but yeah, like if you guys want to say that you started moving over towards the elevator and like packing up all your stuff and gathering what you can, you can definitely do that. You find the elevator no longer works. Like you tap the runes, you swipe the keystones, <laughs> it does not function. Um, it just is locked in place. Mal, another way out. Interesting. There isn't, well, there isn't one. It just uh, we're in the center of the island. <clears throat> he just points at the elevator. That's the only way. Um, Down the cavern? Uh, it, it, the, the cavern we, is we, just, it's a hollowed out shell inside the island. There, there's, there's, it was carved to build the project. There, there's no way out of it. It's one way in, one way out. It was the most secure way, apart from uh, this, the gate spell. I think we're gonna have to climb. They have uh, airships here. Yeah. They've been stealing airships. There's an airship somewhere. There's a crew, there's an airship. Climb up, find it. Uh, yeah, well, you, I'm going to assume at this point that's kind of like your, you know, you, what do you guys do? <clears throat> Quill. Yes, yeah. Send a message to the airship team. Tell them to run. Uh, we'll do. You can Tell use, them uh, to get an airship. Uh, oh my god. What level is sending? No. Three. <laughs> I can't. <Are> you out? <laughs> oh no. I can't. I don't have anything three or higher. Oh no. Oh, oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Well, while Quill um, looks that up, what about the rest of you? I, I can teleport us, but it's going to take 10 minutes. We don't have that time. We need to just start running. But I don't know where. We're trapped. Can we blast a hole? You can try. I can blast a I hole. Can try. I can try blast what? a hole. The, the cavern? I can, I can island? get to the airship route. There must, be mile, there must be at least a mile around us, the island. Y yeah. What was that, Tom? We're too deep. I can get to the airship crew. I... I I might not be able to speak to them through sending, but I can fly to them. I just need to get them as quick as I can. Um, is there like a window? Is, is there... There's right, nothing else. If they gonna... destroy can I this have... facility, you, there are weapons here. We could try and dis we could try and fix whatever sabotage they've done, but uh, I, if this place destroys, even if we can fly away, I'm not sure we'll be fast enough. It, the Ethereum is so unstable, it will cause an incredible explosion. We need to teleport then. Uh, uh, we need to teleport. Are there any oh, consoles? You won't be able to teleport in here. Like a, it's just darkness. A so, unless you guys have it's light sources, it's like pitch black in here. Yeah. Uh, the doors to the elevator are open, and you can see it does. It has an open top, so you can Sentry can look up, and there is this tall, maybe. I mean, it goes up in darkness. You can't see further, as far as it goes up. And then the, there are four chains yeah. in each corner of the shaft. 
um, that connects to whatever winching mechanism is there. Um, but yeah. There's no yeah. power. I'll just okay. yeah, I'll just point to that and just say we can try up here. Climb up the elevator shaft. Ayla, do you have any rope um, on you? I think so. Quill. Does anyone have any rope on them? Because I can levitate Ayla, she can go up, drop a rope down, pull us up. How about... Those wings. <laughs> yes, yeah. Quill, just go. Go and get, get Quill that to other go. crew. Right, I'm going to cast Expeditious Retreat, and I'm going to fly as fast as I can to the uh, airship crew. Okay, what is your maximum speed per round? So Using the spell with and all your movement. Retreat, I can mm -hmm. take the dash act. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's a fight spell, but I'm using a bonus action to dash instead of an action. Uh, yep. And my fly speed is fifty, I believe. Um, yes, fifty. So a hundred. I was to fly. Okay, and what's your constitution modifier? Because if you're dashing every turn, you know, there is like your stamina becomes a factor in that. Because dashing is like sprinting effectively. Sure, it's a plus one, 12. Okay, so, uh, so plus one. Okay. Um, all right, so <clears throat> Quill shoots off. Um, I am going to tell you now, Quill, it will take you 100 feet. It will take you about five rounds to reach the top of the elevator shaft. It's a 500 foot shaft. Um, when you reach the top, I do need you to make a uh, constitution saving throw for me, though, please. Because by the time you reach the top, you're in, like, even with the magic of the spell propelling you upwards, you're still sprinting and, like, your body is still uh, tiring. Am I able with uh, Expeditious Retreat, bonus action dash and action dash? You can. Again, it will tie you out quicker, but you can do it. Okay, well, that means 150 feet. 150 least. feet. Turn. So that's uh, uh, three rounds, four rounds. Um, that cuts it down to, no, one, two, three rounds um, it takes you to reach the top. Um, right. And give me two constitution saving throws. My other suggestion, whilst <laughs> this is being rolled, um, mm -hmm. is yeah. I say to Nova, Second one, Tom. perhaps you could levitate Hal and fix the elevator instead. Because the time it's going to it's... take us to climb this shaft is going to take us longer than this whole 500 thing. Five hundred feet. I don't a... think I can get up there. Uh, no, Five hundred feet. You can. Down. You can climb it. Huh? Uh, I. I don't know. I. I don't know what he's done. It could be that he's removed the power source of the the whole uh, shaft. There, there's normally a control stone at the very top of the tower that controls the 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 chains, the the stone. Um. It could be that maybe they've removed the power source. Maybe this is an anti-magic effect. I, I don't know. Uh, Quill, by the time you reach the top of this um, this elevator shaft, this 500-foot shaft that you kind of fly up in, you are exhausted. Uh, you gain two levels of exhaustion uh, by the time you reach the two top. Two levels. Um, so okay. you're now at half speed, but you can, like, you're looking around. There's no sign of any sort of um, soldiers or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, half speed, so 75 feet of movement if I'm still doing action bonus action dashing. Well, the um, more you can do that, the more tired you're going to keep making constitution saving throws because, like, you've just used all your energy to sprint up this elevator shaft. If you keep dashing, you're, like, pushing yourself to your limits. Mm -hmm, Nova, mm -hmm, if, mm. if you cast Levitate on me, can I carry you up one by one? I'm going straight up. So, uh, Back levitate time. is 20 foot around. So as somebody who's levitating, you can go at 40 feet around, basically, because um, you can dash uh, and go 40 feet around, which, if you think about it, is like 10 rounds, just over 10 rounds. Um, if you climb, you climb at half speed. So that's 15 feet around. Um, so. so it's a minute to get up levitating, basically. Um, yeah, right? around about a minute. Yeah, yeah. it's around about a minute. Um, it'll probably be about two minutes it. if you just climb up. Yeah. Yeah. Take someone, we'll all start climbing. Uh, That's all we've got, right? Yeah, we're dead if we stay if you here. Fix we it, can at least try. Can if I? If you fix it, we'll use the, the, the top of the elevator to just carry us the rest of the way. Um, if I was levitating, if if Nova cast levitate on me, if I was levitating, mm -hmm. could I use the jump action on my hammer to propel us faster? 
or the gust cantrip that I have on my hammer to propel us faster? G gust won't. Gust won't. But you're, you, you'd basically be but able to... I would say that with the levitate... So here's the thing, right? With the jump action, um, you could use that without a levitate. You could use that to like... Because there are four chains in this elevator shaft in each corner. You could like hold onto a chain, swing the hammer, jump, go the jump distance and try and like grab a chain and then do the same thing. Like kind of like hulk your way up to the top, right? Jump, 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 jump. Um, levitate just means that you won't have to grip onto the chains. Like you just be able to like hover in the air, basically. Um, you could do that. Okay. Or Nova yeah, levitate. you could just levitate and just jump, jump, jump. Nova, levitate yourself. I'll jump. Okay, I'm going. Okay, and right. I so will Nova's going to levitate and start rise up. Okay, uh, so Nova, you're moving at about 40 feet around. Because it's magic, I'm going to say you're probably not going to be as um, drained as Quill Can was. Because he was like physically ask... flying, whereas you're levitating. Yeah. I don't know if it'll affect, but can I ask Ayla or Sentry to just give me a boost just to get me, like, momentum going, or like, get me up? Sure, like, yeah. Up. If either of you want to make a strength check, I'd let you kind of, like, throw Nova, and then Nova casts Levitate as she hits the peak of the, the apex. Yeah. Oh, who wants to do it? One of you make I an athletics check for me. Yeah, I'll sure. do it. Okay. My athletics is probably higher. Uh, I rolled uh, 15 plus 12. <laughs> Yeah, so I'd say that you probably get like a good sort of like 30 extra kind of feet um, and then you start levitating. Um, mm -hmm. So with that based, it's, uh, six. Right. you will reach the top of that elevator at 1 minute 12 seconds, Nova, if you're levitating. Sweet. Uh, Ayla, you're jumping. Uh, what's your strength score? 25? Um, yes. So, boop, 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 boop. high jumps would be 25, 50, 75. How many times can you use jump charge? Uh, only three. Three times, isn't it? Okay, but it triples your jump distance every time you do it. So, 75, 150. And it says it can be in addition, this can exceed your movement speed for this turn. It's so it's That's in excess of that. So cool. if you spend all three charges Ayla, you can go 225 feet in like three jumps, which is six, uh, 18 seconds. You basically like okay. jump, 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 and you get 225 feet up in that space of time. You're like literally hulking your way like woof, grab, woof, grab, woof, grab, and then you can climb the rest of the distance up. Now your movement speed's also faster, right? What's your normal movement 45 speed? 45 feet. So, so if I'm half if is I'm about twenty feet dashing, down, down. then well, yeah, so forty yeah. feet, and then what's your con mod? Uh, plus four. Plus four. Okay, so eight rounds. That's going to be more than enough to get to the top. I just need to work out the time. Um, so that's going to be about. Five, six, six, six. Okay. So <clears throat> it takes you about less than a minute it takes you sort of around 50 odd seconds to reach the top so you're kind of like just actually you're going to get there just before even nova does like because you're doing these huge jumps you're actually going to get there the rest of you as i, so as Mal... I jump up so i throw nova right mm -hmm. and as i jump up and grab the chain can i just go on your left and then just uh <laughs> you, you know, sail past her so like, yeah and then nova's just like Thanks. slowly levitating upwards just like <laughs> straight up yes, in a yes, line very good um, yes <laughs> um, Sentry, Lucius, and Malatir, you guys are all gonna, and Moonstar technically, who's with you, you guys all start climbing, right? So you're just physically yeah. gonna climb up these chains. Yeah, um, you're all moving at the cast, same speed. Um, can I cast on. a bless on um, on Lucius, Moonstar, and Malatir before they go up? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and okay. then can I just kind right. of usher them all through ahead of me so I'm the last one up? You're the last one. Okay. Well, there are four yeah. chains in the shaft, so you could each take a chain and start climbing up at yeah. the same time if you want. Yeah? Right. So that. you guys are going to be going a lot slower because you're basically at 15 feet, uh, double to 30 if you dash, um, and then you're going to start making con saves um, to run out of endurance. So that's going to be about one minute, and then 90, about 
four, so 20 odd seconds. Um, okay, I need Lucius. Um, Sentry, what's your constitution modifier? It is uh, plus three. Okay, uh, Lucius, um, can you make for me, because I think yours is plus one, um, you, Moonstar, and Mal are all pretty much going to start getting tired at the same speed. How much do you want to dash? Are you just trying to go up this chain as quickly as possible, or do you want to kind of take it slow and steady and conserve your strength? Uh, me? Uh, I'm going yeah. to... I think I've got some faith in Nova fixing the okay. elevator, so I'm <laughs> kind of conserving myself. You're going to take it slow and steady? Okay. Yeah, because I think exhaustion's going to be yeah. worse. <laughs> so. In a minute. 302 minutes. I don't want to slip and fall. <laughs> It's going to take you about three and a half minutes to climb up if you're going slow and steady. All right. Um, so, Sentry, are you going to keep pace with the rest of them? Because Moonstar yeah. and Malatir are going to go at the same pace as Lucius. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't so, really Quill, you're the first one up at the top. You are up there in like fucking three rounds. Like you've 18 seconds. You're like, whoosh. But when you get to the top, <laughs> you just, you feel yourself just absolutely drained of strength. It's like sprinting, mm -hmm. like for like, but magically sprinting because you're not just sprinting you're sprinting twice <laughs> like you know um yep. so what scale. do you do when you get it's ready what do you do when you get to the top uh i would like to messenger ring uh well everyone and ask uh nova between you and mal do you have any idea how long we actually have i i I don't know. I don't know what exactly Democles has done. I don't know if he's... My guess is that he's done something to blow all the Ethereum in the reactor. That's my biggest guess. Because that's what I would do if you, I wanted to bring this place down. It's been a while, but you did. You guys did notice when you were going up uh, the tower to find Mal, you did notice there was a floor called Ethereum Refinery, and it had, like, warnings, unstable, dangerous, yeah. blah, blah, blah. That was on the second floor of the tower, basically. Um... Quill. Okay. Um, hey, Mark, how, how much of an idea of time do you actually have? Because this will change my question very specifically for the eye of the storm. I know. Th I, I, you can't ask me that, so <laughs> that's the okay. DM. Okay. Well, I'm just, right. I was just wondering. Uh, in that case, I want hey to Hey, God! Ask, do you know how long the timer is? <laughs> I, I, yes, want Thomas, to, I, do. I want to ask the eye of the storm... <laughs> Yes. If I were to start counting in seconds now, what would I get to when the factory explodes? Okay, you see uh, your vision goes cloudy. You see the stormy haze overflow your visions in an instant. And you see yourself as you are stood over this hole. But then almost like little runic script, there is a timer in your vision that's counting up. Um, your vision uh, actually then starts flowing in. You flow into the tower. You go up to the second floor. You come into this room that you can see six um, of these giant steel vats. And two of them have, like, they're just, like, ruptured in places or they have sparks and magic flowing out of them. They, they are kind of, like, flashing and sparking and they seem to have been damaged in some way. And it is building up this intense silvery mist or gas in the room that is getting bigger and bigger it gets to the little runic timer gets to i would say five minutes 30 and then there is just an explosion of light and it engulfs you see the whole island engulfed you see like the mountains below it and like the whole air around it uh just shit okay um by the way, we have five and a half minutes. Two of the Ethereum engines are ruined. We, if you, uh, five and a half minutes. Five and a half. Five, and, okay. five minutes and 25 seconds. I'm dashing you now. Still, you you still uh, got, uh, you've still got a fair few rounds on your own, Quill, <laughs> before anybody else gets a chance to do anything. So if you want to do something, right, okay. this is a good yeah, time I for mean, you to do it. I, I think I'm going to... If that's... Us, I'm still trying to get to the airship crew, like knowing how much time okay. I've got. So yeah, you can get um, with your with your faster movement speed. You can actually get to them pretty quickly because the mind flares um, base wasn't too far from here. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you're pretty much going to spend your time doing that. I think. Um, pretty much. Yeah. A few seconds. Uh, Ayla and Nova. Ayla, you're actually the first up. You kind of pull yourself up into this long hallway uh, that you first came into. You can see the elevator shaft keeps going up to the upper floors. Um, 
what do you do? Like, you kind of pull yourself out onto the first piece of platform you can. You're tired, but with your endurance, you actually didn't even need to make a single saving throw. Um, okay. What do you do? Is there... Can I see... Have they tampered with this part of the elevator in some way? Can I see that it's been tampered with? It's just a shaft. It's just like a pure soft. The chains still keep going up. It looks like that the chains are attached to the very top. Okay. But um, I would say you looking up, there is light here, and you can see that the upper tower is not as tall as the lower shaft you just came from. Uh, it's probably about it's probably about forty feet, and then another forty feet to the top of the tower. So it's only about another. It's about eighty feet above you. You can see the top of this shaft, um, where there is a control for the elevator. And that's where you can probably just about see it. You can see that, like, something has been removed. Like, there, there's, like, a big stone disc. The chains connect into it, and something, like, a gemstone or something has been pulled away from it. Okay. Um, can I... There's... Can I climb up there? I don't know how long you it would take me to climb up there. 80 feet. You climb it 20 feet around. You can still dash uh, 42 rounds you could get there in. And in doing so, you're uh, still up there before Nova is. <laughs> Six, that's uh, one minute, two. Um. Okay. Um, you get that there, or actually... you can just about see like Nova beginning to kind of like come up in the below you, but you, you get, you climb up and you can see that this is, I mean, Ayla doesn't have a clue what this is, but yeah, all you can tell is that something's been taken out of it and it seems to be connected to the chains in some way. Okay. Can I do anything in that time then to try and identify what me? I think it could be? Like, you what can make an intelligence kind check. of... What kind of? Uh, yeah, I'd be an intelligence check to figure this out. Could, is there any way that I can get a sense that if I can physically do something to help pull, that it would start the lift working, or is it magic? You can make do, it, I think it would. You can make an intelligence check to try and figure it out. Oh, okay. Uh, I rolled a nineteen minus one, eighteen. Eighteen. Looking at this, you do think there's probably magic attached to it. You've seen a lot of Magitech. You kind of get a lot of sense that... But you've kind of seen similar stuff to this before. This is like the Magitech gems that powered things like the bike. Um, some of the Magitech stuff you've seen. This is a power source. It needs power. Like, it's the energy okay. has been taken away from it. It needs some sort of magical energy to power it. Do I get the sense that if I channeled lightning into it, it would do anything? You can certainly <laughs> try, KP. Can I try? I'm not gonna. So yeah, do you want to spend a rage and just basically? Ah! Yeah, can I try that? Okay, you kind of, ah, you kind of begin churning this rage inside you. The lightning begins arcing up your arms, down your back, and then just hold the hammer up, and the lightning into this thing, and you hear, and the chains. As long as you can keep raging, as long as you can keep doing this, it will keep the elevator moving which means you need to start taking damage. Otherwise, your rage is going to end. You can always Wait just be like... <laughs> can I do that? Yeah. yeah. You can, okay. If you like just punch yourself and deal unarmed strike damage to yourself, you can keep your rage going, yeah. Okay, I'll do that then. Well... All right. Uh... Uh, so the elevator moves much, much faster. Sentry and Lucius. Uh, Nova, you get to the top as... Because that would take a round. That would bring us to 108. Um... Sentry and Lucius, uh, Nova, you reach the top. Ayla, you can see Ayla like channeling this thing in uh, at 114. Um, um, did, yes, go on. Did Quill, when Quill figured out the timer, did Quill communicate, Tom, did Quill communicate the vision, like what the source of the, the, the self destruct was? Your messenger rings are free actions. Yeah, he, he said yeah. two yeah. of the refineries. And also, your messenger rings, by the way, are free actions. You guys can communicate. Like, okay. you could ask okay. Quill, what else did you see? Blah, yeah. blah, blah, what blah. I don't, I don't okay. mind that. Yeah, exactly what's wrong with it. Well, while I'm at the top, can I shout down to Mal and be like, Mal, is there a way to vent the refinery and stop it from blowing? 
just like echoing down the chamber. Can I? Uh, he kind of I, he gets the sense. Yeah. That, yeah, you can like ask Lucius or like somebody else to ask. Yeah. Um, ironically enough, Moonstar Lucius as well. You might know a little bit about this because your family ran an Ethereum refinery. Like your your father made Ethereum parts for airships. Um, May you make an yep. intelligence check for me, Lucius? Uh, I will make one for Moonstar as well. That's an extra 20, she knows. <laughs> she knows everything. Lucius yeah. doesn't. <laughs> Lucius doesn't. Oh, yeah, I'm not paying any attention to that stuff. Um, That's the one. The, the idea is communicated, and both Malatir and Moonstar... Balance. Uh, yes, there should be... Oh, tell Nova that there should be multiple ways to do it. The chances are that the the malfunctioning refineries need to be fixed before we can vent it. If we try and vent before they're fixed, it will cause a catastrophic explosion. But if we can get there, both myself, Nova, Malatir, and maybe even my brother may be able to help fix the machines. I I'm going to keep going up. I can try. Um. It's magic, <laughs> Lucius. You You understand magic you can you can do things we'll probably need sentry and ayla's help as well there may be some manual fixing that we need to do it's either that or i prepare a teleportation circle it'll take a minute i'll do whatever you need uh malatir will say you can't teleport inside the tower it's warded against teleportations one of the things they did after the gate Ooh. was to prevent further teleportations you could do it from the roof or outside but not inside the tower I forgot to do out. his American accent, but you get the idea. Um, yeah. All right. So <laughs> I'll just keep climbing. Activating the elevator will cut down uh, the time almost cut down the, the time for everybody else massively. By the time we get to two minutes, everybody uh, who was in the shaft, you kind of have to let go as the elevator get comes rapidly up. up behind yeah. you. You're like, oh fuck, and then like you catch the floors as you are pulled up by it. Um, Nova, this gives you about 45 seconds of stuff to do if you wanted, if you and Ayla wanted to do it. Ayla, you need to keep I doing this, by the way. You're going to take... Uh, how much unarmed strike damage do you do <laughs> per round? I don't... What's my unarmed strike? Uh, uh, so it's normally yep. just one plus eight. the strength mod. Wait. <laughs> eight points of damage. Yeah, eight, but you are raging, eight, but so I'm you raging, half it so to it's four. <laughs> so it's four. So you so take... This would be, uh, it was one minute 40. So it's like 45 seconds. So 45-ish divided by six. What's that? 35. Let's call it six times four. So <laughs> 24 points of damage you've taken. Okay. So you're just like Ugh, punching yourself. <laughs> punching yourself. <laughs> like biting it's your hands. Important. Like, it's more important yeah. to get them up. <laughs> and you're just like constantly just um. like causing yourself pain to keep your rage going. Um, Nova. Can I keep going up to the refinery level? Because it's one level up, isn't it? So yes. can I keep yeah. moving up? So you can get there. Up? You'd get there just before the guys yeah. reach the, the ground floor. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you get to that, Nova, the doors are closed. They do look like they just open, but you see all of these warning signs, like these kind of like dangerous, poisonous, unstable, um, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Quill, yep. by this time you definitely could have gotten to the other airship crews mm -hmm. and told them to do something and started heading back. What do you do? Hey, good news. Uh, we are getting out of here. Bad news. We have got to get out of here right now. Follow me, everyone. Uh, all, all right. Uh, okay, everybody, let's hustle up. And you see, like, they begin pulling quickly themselves now, together. Quickly and... now. Quicker, 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 yep, yep, quicker, yep, quicker. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and yeah, I. Uh, and yeah, they start, and they start moving. Back. Yeah, I mean, the only route uh, that if everyone was to head backwards to where I am, I'll follow that route back to get to the outside area, outside the elevator. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to take them into the tower, basically, where the elevator is. Yeah, um, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. So all they right. can die quick. Uh, <laughs> sure. Take you them leave right them all to, to there? the bomb. I mean, yep. uh, I, need to, I need to meet up with you guys. Yep. Yeah, they... To... they, they... The oh, whole, uh, the, the Degas uh, uh, airship crew, um, the few stragglers that were remaining, I do have their names somewhere. Um, yeah, they they follow. Um, awesome. Bum, bum. Captain uh, Dallas Ogren. Ogren. D Dallas Ogren yeah, and Dallas his crew, Ogren. and then uh, Vedalan Zarbeth, uh, Arena Goodtail. Scork McKenzie, very important. Uh, they um, all start following you. Vedalan. 
elevator team you guys reach the you reach the the floor and Malatir hits the button for the second tier this is pretty much about yeah about two minutes uh like six seconds or like two minutes 12 seconds um Dude. which is where we're going to basically come in quill that's the point where you basically get the crew to the the bottom floor of the tower you can just fly up to the second level but the elevator's already gone up so they're stuck on the ground level for the time being until the okay. elevator comes down uh, Nova, what do you do? Are you waiting for the others or are you going to go in on your own? I'm going to go in on my own first. Um, I have a level okay. four key card in. I don't know if that matters. Um, it but it I does, yeah. It, you, it, these doors, this opens. Once you've accessed the room on the, the elevator, you can open the doors easily enough. Um, mm -hmm. Ayla, uh, you take another four points of, blo of bludgeoning damage, but then you can stop. Like, you can see the elevator kind of clicks in place, and you're like, and then you can just sort of drop down onto the elevator with them um, at this point. Nova, you get in about 12 seconds, so two rounds early. Uh, I will show you guys on roll 20. So, when you open, you step out into a kind of long... Um, kind of corridor shaped uh, like space. Uh, there are gangways um, above you with stairs leading up to them. Uh, each of the gangways connects to one of these large metal vats and there appears to be like a central control system uh, on the other side away from the elevator. You can zoom out a fair bit I think on the map um, and then you should be able to see everything. Um, <clears throat> the, two, uh, the two tanks that are sparking, you notice them immediately, is A and G, uh, but this area do you hold your breath or anything when you step in or are you just like stepping into the room immediately uh i'll, I'll hold my breath yeah i mean i don't i'm a gnast don't, so like, don't yeah so you don't need to, need to. Yeah. there is a fine silvery gas filling this entire space um when you step into it, it kind of tingles against your skin. Uh, Tian Gong seems to almost fizzle and, and spark uh, in amongst this gas. Um, this appears to be like Ethereum like waste gas uh, from the refinery. There are shapes moving around. You can see almost like coalesced forms of this mist, as well as lightning bolts that seem to just kind of arc through the air uh, are in this space. They don't seem to have noticed you as long as you haven't like fully like stepped into like the the uh, room itself. Um, but this definitely appears to be uh, a dangerous place to be. What do you do? Oh, goody. Um, I will communicate to everyone. Um, the room is flooded with Ethereum gas. It's it's probably poisonous. There's shapes in here. I I I. This is. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh. Moonstar, tell me where to go. Okay. So when the rest of the team catches up, <coughs> Moonstar uh, like ducks her head in. Malatir does the same. They both... <coughs> Malatir holds his breath. You see him kind of like um, holding his breath. He sticks his head in. <coughs> All right. We need to deal with the, the two Ethereum refineries that are currently unstable. We need to fix them. Nova, you head to one, I'll head to the other one. You may need to spend some time trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Once we identify the problems, we can fix them. Then somebody, she point, pointing at Malatir, you head to the central console. When Nova and I give you the signal, hit the large central lever. That will vent the entire chamber and it should stabilize the pressure. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> looking around, um, she, Ayla, Sentry, whatever these things, they're probably unstable magic. It, they'll be, uh, they'll probably be aggressive. You need to keep them off Nova and I as much as possible. We need time to figure out exactly what's wrong with these, these refineries, but we may also need you to come and fix things. We may need you to move heavy objects or pry open vents, things like that. So just be aware we may need your help as well. Okay. I know you can all communicate telepathically. Malatir and I can't, so we're gonna have to hold our breath as best we can. For the sake of ease, Quill, I will have you join the party. And after we come back from break, we're going to roll initiative. Oh, oh no. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. This is tense. This is very yeah. tense. Yeah. We're going to fix the yeah. machines. And you'll Before live. it blows up. Yeah. Before it blows yeah. up. We're going to. It's got minutes. Uh, you have we die to another corridor. You've, ru <laughs> you've roughly got three <laughs> minutes. You'll be fine. Corridor. 
three minutes. A little bee it's fight. another exploding little corridor. There comes a time in everyone's life when they must decide if their landscaping has become a little unruly. Each and every one of us has our own rules and standards for when that time is. When we decide to steal our resolve, grab our razors and trimmers, and prune away the hairy forest of laziness, and embrace the clean, fresh revitalization of smooth, private parts. And when that time comes, you cannot ask for a better partner than Manscaped. Manscaped provides you with the best tools for your grooming experience. Their Lawnmower 3.0 trimmer is the best hygiene tool for anyone. With ceramic blade and advanced skin safe technology keeping you safe in such stressful times. It's even waterproof, so you can do the work in the shower. You can get 20% off and free shipping with the code HIGHROLLERS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code HIGHROLLERS. Thank you, Manscaped, for making our private parts look smart. Darrow has donated with... I'm shortening my name because y'all always mispronounce it. I'm not angry, just disappointed. That sounds like an attack on me. I mean, I'm the only one who reads these, so that's an attack on me. Anyways, thanks for keeping our spirits up during these strange times. Thank you very much, Darrow. Hopefully I'm actually pronouncing that one right. D-A-R-O. Could be Darrow. Are you Darrow? Let me know. <laughs> Smurfette505 has donated with... So excited to finally catch you guys live again after being behind on episodes for a month. Great job DMing last week, Kim, and uh, two weeks ago, and fantastic recaps, Rhiannon. Yeah, they're great. Uh, stay safe, don't die, and have fun. You guys are the best. We might die. We might not be safe. Uh, but thank you very much, Smurfette, for... Oh, oh what a blessing. Um, Brian Indigo with a quarter hundo re re recap madcap worms on mad map uh watching the chaos twins bring tomato back maybe we'll see there has been an update to Baldur's Gate recently so we'll see um unending thought with a quarter hundo uh the said sorry with a half hundo sorry unending thought thank you very much hi folks i'm finally catching a live session after watching all of the eroas videos you all help brighten the Corona apocalypse for me. I wish clear skies to you all. Thank you very much. And I hope the Corona apocalypse, which is something I haven't heard before, that phrase is wonderful. I uh, hope the Corona apocalypse is going at least well for you. Uh, unending thought. Thank you very much. Dutchy Dulio as well has donated. Uh, greetings, weirdos. Cannot wait for this Horizon meeting. Been waiting for months. Keep up the good stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, almost there. We're almost there. We just need to, you know, not die. Um, my dirty word hole has donated. Uh, yeah. I'm still in here. Ball scratches right here in Tom's hole of many words. Oh boy, is it moist in here. The cheapest and moistest hole of all. Reminder that Tom is a cheap boy. Just $1 for a pound. Ing. Shout out to Torman on YouTube. Glenodal poo. Thanks, my dirty word hole, for that donation. Good God. Um, yeah. Shout out to Torman. Uh, been doing some wonderful videos recently. They are amazing. They're really, really good. Um, Chromium246 has donated with my art cards have just arrived. Number 97. Wow. Uh, they are gorgeous. All the love to Nina and her amazing art skills. Yeah, the new art is incredible. And again, check the store. I haven't checked in a while, uh, but they're still there. So if you want some, go get some. Uh, the Herve has donated with High Rollers. You guys have created something so special with Eroes. Mark is a writing genius, and all six of you have made an incredible story together. You guys have inspired me so much that's reflected in my own homebrew campaign. Have a warm plate on me. Thank you very much, The Herb. What a lovely message. Thank you. Um, Spudling Gaming has donated with... Uh, shout out to my amazing partner. I met them through Rhiannon's Discord, and we both watched High Rollers. Now we get together every Sunday to watch you guys together. P.S. Trans rights are human rights and end the virus of racism. Bam. There you go. What a lovely story, Rhiannon. Rhiannon, yeah. you're a matchmaker. You've done it. Cupid. It's adorable. You're, you're Cupid. Oh. You shut your arrow. <laughs> 
Boom, straight into Spudling Gaming. Boom, straight into Spudling Gaming partner. Oh, no, Spudling! <laughs> oh, congrats! That's amazing! Um, and now they watch High Rollers as well. Uh, I'm just going to do this this uh, doubler from New Alex. Uh, VOD squad for me, but for good luck, I've kept my rations prepared, got cigarettes to keep my hands steady, my cardboard box has wolf urine on it, and I've practiced Lali Lulelo until I can say it in my sleep. Also, just to be on the safe side, I've plugged everything I can find into the secondary control port. Sick, sitting down might be a problem, but apart from all that, I'm set to watch High Rollers later. Good luck. Thank you very much, new Alex. Uh, good preparations. Um, and I am going to read the rest of them at the end of the episode. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, Thomas. What? What a guy. What? He's just stuffing his face. Mark's just stuffing his face. Do you want to go? Quickly, Tom? Unbelievable. I do, yeah. I was just, Mark was giving me a sh shit eating look, you know? He's, <laughs> he was just going to take over talking, however, he's got a mouth full. So in the meantime, I'm just going to suggest that maybe you need some protection uh, from Ethereum suddenly exploding. And, uh,. Well, this may not protect you from that. It can protect you from uh, snooping, and it can also unlock the internet for you. It's NordVPN. Please check out our link, nordvpn.com slash HRDND. It's their birthday month, so they're giving you an extra bit of time on top of the month free that you get with the two-year plan. So it's a VPN, a, vi a virtual private network. It just keeps your internet secure and safe. There's unlimited bandwidth, all that kind of good stuff that you'd expect. Um, check it out. And using that link will support us and allow us to continue to get sponsorships. And uh, I want that limo, <laughs> so fingers crossed. Why would you want a limo? Are you going to drive know. other people around in it? I think I, I wanted to say Lambo, jet ski. but I think I said Lim. I do want a jet ski as well. Yeah, nice. so you're after nice. a jet ski with hat films, and you're asked after a Lambo with high rollers. Like, mm. you know, mm. just mm. wow. Like just, it. Well, I need something for the water yep. and something for the road. <laughs> it's not, exactly. not a big ass. What about the air? That's yeah. next, yeah. Gonna, that's next. That's, yeah. <laughs> to get another sponsorship for the air. Um, but yeah. yeah, no, seriously, go check out Nord. They've they've consistently come back and let us uh, and and supported us and let us do stupid ads. Uh, so please do go and show yes. them some love. Big big fan of Nord. Um, and yeah, Nord. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, if you haven't checked out the recaps yet, or you probably have because you're probably up to date, but you should go and tell your friends to watch the recaps so they can get caught up on a rose faster. Rihanna did a super good job, uh, and you should go and check those out. Uh, yeah. And now we've got everyone back. Everyone's ready. Everyone's excited. I know that. Everyone's oh. very excited. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, watch out. To get back into it. Here we go. So, <clears throat> having investigated the lower levels of Shadow Song Pinnacle, this weapons facility, um, you have been informed that the whole area. Uh, has been sabotaged. The, the island, the floating sky island has been sabotaged um, and you, as, until uh, Quill used his powers to determine how long, you had no idea how long uh, before you would be in danger. You have since discovered two of the Ethereum refineries have been sabotaged and you have around about three minutes before this whole island is blown sky high. You've all assembled, uh, managing to use uh, barbarian rage magic to empower uh, elevators, uh, flight spells and levitations. You've managed to ascend uh, up a, a tall elevator shaft, and now you stand in the refinery to take it on. However, it is not as easy as it seems. The refineries must be repaired, investigated, and then meanwhile, you will have several living spells to contend with as the errant magic of the Ethereum has brought to life these strange magical energies. And we are going to roll initiative. Here we go. Ah, ba -ba you can speak. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. So we have a 10 for Kilek, uh, 15 yep. for Lucius. Uh, 18. 18 for Ayla. Entry. 17. Four. For Nova, sorry. Four. <laughs> and then 17 for Nova. <laughs> Nice. Uh, 
And that is it. Uh, Malatir, as an FYI, has almost no abilities or skills or weapons or anything. Uh, so will cower inside the elevator until he is told otherwise. Um, until you are stuff. ready for him. What's that? Doesn't he need can't, to go to the control can't get room? Him repair? Uh, yeah. control uh, he, panel. He, he, he can definitely run to that control panel. Uh, he will be at risk of being attacked. Um, so yeah. he's basically going to wait until somebody tells him to go there, and then he will right. go there. Gotcha. Um, All right. Uh, as, as an FYI. Uh, Moonstar, leaping into action, um, will... She will... Basically, oh, she can use her grapple. She's going to go for the furthest one because she thinks she can get there. Uh, seeing that Nova's a little bit slower to react, she will leap into the fray. 5, 10, 15, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, dash action, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And then at the last second, she pulls out this hand crossbow with this grappling uh, kind of launcher on it flies it and then whips herself on top of um, this refinery and begins inspecting it uh, and you see that's this kind of cool. crackling bolt that's her whole turn is to basically run up to the furthest one away um, <clears throat> and that's it that's Respect her turn that. Ayla I will take a run at this duty what's it is this, thing. this is so, one of the as a point, things right so yeah, a couple of points. Nova had already mentioned this. Um, if you you have to hold your breath in this area, like the air is filled yeah. with this kind of silvery mist, um, you can hold your breath equal to uh, one plus your constitution modifier in minutes. So Ayla, you're fine. You've got five goddamn minutes. Like Sentry's got four minutes or something. Those of you who only have a plus one or a plus zero, just keep a note that yeah, you will have to hold your breath in here. Things like if taking damage or casting spells um, is, you know, dangerous. Um, Lucius, you would know uh, that the Ethereum here in this refinery, if you breathe it in, it's definitely it's toxic, um, and it has effects on magic as well. If you if you are like if you have this stuff in your system and you try and cast spells, it can go awry. Um, but yeah, I, I will really so you hold your breath as everyone's running yeah. out. Um, yeah. Moonstar already uh, knows that. So you see, the thing that you charge towards appears to be this coalesced form of this silvery gas, uh, almost like not quite taken on a humanoid shape, but it definitely seems more sentient. Um, it, it's kind of formed itself in, into something. What would mm. you like to do? Okay, I think I'm going to move around this side of it just to give Nova clear a run at the mm -hmm. uh okay thing uh but uh i'll i'll give her a couple of hits because you know what else sure. can i do so that's what she do yep. that's what she do so 13 plus 13 to hit on the first one that hits uh... oh god five six seven ten eleven, ten, 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 thirteen damage Hang on, give me a second. Uh, 13 points of damage. Uh, yep, cool. 13 points. Next one is... Uh, you see, as, you, as the hit. hammer connects, by the way, Ayla, um, you, you get the sense that it's only the magic of the hammer, like the lightning and the magic kind of imbued into it, that is actually connecting with the thing. Like, if this wasn't a magic yeah. weapon, it would definitely be resisting some of this. But yeah, cool. the hammer strikes... Uh, and connects and deals its damage. Next attack. Uh, 23 to hit. That hits. Uh, ooh, I rolled a one on my damage, though. So, uh, nine damage from that, and nine then a dex save for the silver cloud. <laughs> dex save. Uh, he does seem quite nimble, but yeah, that's a seven. It fails. Um, okay. It just kind of bl so, you get blast it with this charge of lightning. Five, six, seven, eight points of lightning damage. You watch as its form begins to collapse a little bit as parts of it are blasted away by the force of lightning um, that you let loose, but it is still still uh, formed. Uh, anything else, or is that the end of your turn? We have Nova, then Lucius. Um, that's all I can do this turn. All right, Nova, you're up. 
Okay, I'll move over to uh, reactor G, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then I guess I need to get on top of it uh, following... Uh, you don't need to get on top of it. What you need to do now that you're here, Nova, because um, I already knew for Moonstar, uh, you need to spend um, your action to in basically examine this thing, right? Uh, to figure out what the problems are, what needs fixing, how you can do it. Basically, to do that, you spend your action to begin investigating it, and then at the end of your next turn, you will know what the problems are. If you take damage, if you are moved away from it, if you are otherwise distracted from examining this thing, you have to make a concentration check to keep your focus and figure out what's going on, right? So you basically are there, and you're, like, moving around it, like, peering into it, like, examining the runes on it. Um, any damage or kind of being moved away from it or anything like that could cause you to lose your focus, and you'd have to start that process again to examine it, okay? Okay. Um, so uh, you want to do that as your right. action? Yeah, I've used my extra five foot of movement just to tuck myself away a little bit further away from the yeah, thing that Ayla is fighting. Um, yeah, yeah. So do I roll cool. anything? Or... You don't need to roll anything now. As long as you cannot take yeah. damage until the end of your next turn, you will then identify the checks that you need to make to fix this device, right? And you suspect that there's probably going to be a bunch of different things you need to do. Uh, Lucius. Cool. I'm going to hold my breath and get to this edge here. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't imagine there's much right now in terms of gas just in this doorway, right? So I don't have to worry too much of the elevator. I guess it's see seeping in a little bit, right? Seeping in, exactly, yeah. yeah. In which case, I will hold my breath. Uh, this is a 90-foot chromatic orb on that one to protect Moonstar. Okay. Uh, level okay. 4. I will also kind of imitate uh, Ayla and do lightning on it. Uh, actually, no, I'll do Dichromancy, so it'll be cold, cold damage. So as a, as a point, Lucius, that one that you're targeting there is actually above you. Um, yeah. It's hard to see because I had to put the gangways on one map. You would probably need to move to at least here to get line of sight onto it, if right. that's okay. Yeah, I'll so do you that. will need to step fully into the room. Um, yep. Otherwise, the gangway above you is partially blocking your line of sight. The stairway is kind of blocking your line of sight. Um, you can see it's kind of like arcing on the grates above. But yeah, okay. so uh, Chromatic Orb. Cold, cold, cold energy. Here we go. Uh, cold. So that is 22 to hit. 22 hit. Yeah. And that will be hit. 32 cold damage. Oof. Nice. Big, big damage. Uh, then, yeah, you see this kind of ball of ice in, encapsulate the thing. Um, sh parts of its lightning bolt. It's almost like living forks of lightning. Not really in any sort of shape, just this erratic pattern. And some of the bolts kind of freeze almost um, as you do so. And then eight points of dichromancy on top of that. Now, how, what's the range on your dichromancy? Because I think it's 30, 30 feet. feet. It? So can I attack the, uh, the one to the right that Ayla's attacking? Yes, that's the only one that's within range, so yeah. Okay, so to the one behind you, you do another eight points of cold damage. Um, as you kind of spin round, pull out this kind of blue shape from your fabric, from your outfit and gemstones, and whoo, launch it at the uh, creature attacking Ayla behind you. Cool. Uh, anything and else, always, Lucius, on your turn? Um, I'm going to move back in with the rest of my movement to a place okay. where I can kind of breathe a little... <laughs> Uh, move out the way a century yeah. so just stand to the side of the door okay uh me. the creatures then go five ten fifteen 20, 25. oh they're coming in whoa yeah they are but annoyingly uh they can only get two of you i wanted to get all three of you um, so one of these one of these bolts of lightning uh, moves towards you, Lucius. Like the sensor, like where you've just struck it, it definitely seems to follow that magic, almost following it like a like a scent. Uh, it moves itself towards you, and then it seems to charge up, and it's going to transform itself into a bolt of lightning um, that I'm going to have to fiddle a little bit with here. And it's going to hit nice. both you and Sentry. Uh, mm -hmm. So I need you both to make dexterity saving throws for me, please. Is that with would the warding give resistance to that? Um interesting. 
Interesting. I would say yes, because technically these are living spells and it's against spells. So I would say yes, your warding does give cool. you uh, bonus resistance and stuff. But still, saving throws nonetheless. Would a counter spell work on this? I guess I don't know. No. Yeah, a counter spell doesn't because it's not casting a spell. It is becoming a spell. It's like it, you're used to like when you counter spell, cast. you're yeah. reading like the person going blah, blah, jabba, 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 jabba. You know, like you're actually like, oh, they're doing this. I can counter spell it. This is just lightning that then suddenly rushes forward like the spell. Okay. Um, but yeah, dexterity same throws. What's your what's your totals, people? 11. 11. 11. That is going to be a failure. However, thanks to Sentry's warding, Sentry seems to absorb some of the uh, impact of this uh, spell, and you do have resistance. Uh, well. <laughs> so it would be 28 points of damage, half to 14. So you both take 14 lightning damage <laughs> as it launches itself forward, and then it seems to almost just reform back in where it was. Uh, the second one... Ayla comes drifting behind you. This one doesn't transform into a bolt of lightning. Instead, it kind of like whips out at you, like whoosh, whoosh, uh, as uh, you know, this, this crack of lightning. Uh, oh, it's got reach. I can actually have it here. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 24 to hit on the first attack. Yeah, is it lightning damage, did you say? It is lightning damage. Are you immune or resistant? Resistant. Okay, so you're going to take half damage from this. Uh, the second attack is a complete miss. It was a natural one. You managed to kind of throw yourself out of the way or use the hammer to kind of absorb it like a lightning rod. Um, I've just thrown all my dice on the floor. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be... 6, 11, 15, uh, 19 lightning damage, halved to... Nine? Yeah, because it's rounded down. Nine points of damage. Ooh. So it's kind of whoosh, whoosh, kind of cracks down upon you. Uh, these, uh, yeah, impressive sort of like bursts of lightning. Then the cloud of gas next to you, Ayla. It seems to just expand itself, uh, and it is going to use its spell mimicry. Uh, I'm gonna make this thing bigger. Bigger. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So like half the map. Yeah. It's a 40 foot radius. So 40 foot diameter. Is that 20 foot radius? I think that's actually I think it's wrong. I think that's 20 foot radius. Why would you use diameter yeah. when all the other spells are rate are radius? Is um, diameter the whole way across or is radius yeah. the whole way across? Sure. Radius is half. Yeah. And diameter is the whole way across, right? Yeah. So it's just thingy. So it's actually like this. I still don't so know. So Ayla, Ayla and Nova, I need you both to make constitution saving throws, please. <sighs> as this thing just seems to blow out as this, this ball of gas. 25. 15. Uh, 25, 15. Uh, 15 is a failure. Nova, you're going to take full damage. This is poison damage. Uh, Ayla, you're going to take half. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, and this oh encounter is going to really screw up. 33 oh, points of oh, poison damage. I need, to make a constitution. I need you to make a, concent Ouch. a concentration check, please, Nova. So, uh, constitution saving throw. Again. So, uh, so minus sixteen points. Sixteen for you. Uh, yes, sixteen points, Ada. God, health's coming down quick. It's only one round. Seventeen. Seventeen is enough. Like even though you're like, <clears throat> like you're like, and it, you're actually holding your breath. So it's this poison as it touches your skin is like seeping into your blood vessels. You feel yourself like sick and shivery. Um, but you, you're focused on this machine. You know you have to, like, get this machine fixed. You manage to keep your focus on it. Um, the other one, however, is just going to move up. That's all it can do. Keelik and Pilar. So it's been a long time, and I haven't really been on top of everyone's health. How is everyone looking right now? 
If I'd look dead but standing, that's how I'd look, Tom. <laughs> dead but standing, Nova cough, we're about, so, I mean... We're on, we're well, you half, probably can't now. see me. You can't see me because I'm tucked around the corner yeah. as well. So. All right, I move forward like as well. 10 feet. I can see everyone. Still can't, can't see Nova. I'm still tucked. I'm tucked behind She's the corner. She's tucked around the side of this like little elevator room. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I was to remember what she looked like before we came into this elevator, what, is it, what does everyone look like? Just... It's been a long Just time. Something. <laughs> Bit dented, dented, <laughs> scuffed. Over and half Lucius dented. Dead. <laughs> half dented. Bit green. That's, Lucius um, is dented. dented. No. All right. Uh, I'm okay, al dente. Well, I'm al dented. Past. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna bonus action. I'm gonna use to healing word Lucius at level two. Um, so that's two d four plus six. That's one four, and another one, uh, 2d4, boom. 12 healing. Woo! Actually, not yeah. bad for bonus action. And my full action, I'm gonna, because I imagine these things are elemental, um, I'm going to cast Arcane Abjuration, which is my channel divinity. Um, okay. So they must pass a wisdom saving throw of 19, anything within 30 feet of me, which is all of them. Um, mm -hmm. And I want to turn them, uh, make them run away from me. 19 is the DC? Yeah, no. bitch. The only thing is, is that is that using the staff? Because your staff only applies the extra DC to spells, not your channel divinity. That's a good question, and I couldn't tell you how to find out. <laughs> so... What's your proficiency bonus and your wisdom modifier? Proficiency is a uh, plus five. My wisdom is plus six. That is no. That is yeah. It's your wisdom, so that is actually the base DC. Uh, Damn, it's ridiculous. All four of these things seem to Quill like slams the spear down, and you watch as his form seems to glow with arcane energy. And all four of these things almost ripple and shudder uh, away from him for a second. Um, Can any of them be what's banished? What's the effect on I the turn? Oh, they, they have their turn for one minute until they take any damage, and they must spend their turns moving away from me, can't take reactions, and can only take the dash or do dodge action if they can't move. Oh my um, god. <laughs> That's crazy they can, good. They can be banished <laughs> if their CR is lower than two. Two they are lower. not lower than two. <laughs> they, are, they are not banished. Right. Well, they oh, are for two minutes, which is great. One minute. Yeah. yeah. One minute. I kind of think that this might completely wipe the encounter because I don't think... Well, they might roll very, very, very high. Um, uh, well, oh, yeah, like, anything it. else on your turn? <laughs> uh, it doesn't actually say... They get I'm going to tell everyone again. not to attack them. They don't, take, they don't have saving throws. Have a minute. Okay. Oh but you my still have God. to get you still have to fix these engines. So we'll just run through that century. Um I'm gonna move Clap. my full movement up towards Moonstone. Uh, I think I can get to about here. Sure. Okay. Yep. Moonstone. Moonstar. Moonstone. Glenodal. It's my sister. Glenodal and Moonstone. Glenodal. <laughs> 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 Essentially you just my start sister. moving away. Century, you can actually yeah. move diagonally. Oh, actually, you want to avoid the monsters, don't you? So you're kind of yeah. moving around the outside. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that all, Century? Anything else on your turn? That's uh, that's my whole yeah, my whole turn. Okay. Moon Star will begin examining because <laughs> she couldn't start it last time, so she begins examining uh, the Ethereum device. Uh, Ayla, you are raging, uh, but you have been informed not to attack these things. I will not attack. Then I'll just say, Nova, what do you need? And I will hold my action to... Oh, can I interesting. Start? One second. What? So the fog oh. that was created doesn't disappear. The fog that this thing became is like lingering around it. Um, so when you start your turn, I need another con save from you, Ayla, please. Oh, fuck. God. Okay, so Nova can't do anything unless that dissipates. Well, she might be able Walk to. Walk it away from me. Yeah, maybe. It does move, actually. Ten feet away. Um... That is one, one, a one. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 
It's still a lot of damage, though. It is. It's like 5v8. Uh, my roll 20 is like really playing up as well. So, uh, 13 points of poison damage. Okay. Um... Okay, uh, can I... You... Uh, no, I can't... I can't dissipate that. Um, so it's there. Can I skirt around... It is slowly to... moving. It's like moving... It's moved about 10 feet towards, like, the center of the room. It's like drifting away. Can I move out away. to... Here? Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. I could move out to, actually, around near Nova. Uh, can I yeah, you can do. One, can you check one thing for me, Tom? Can the can the elementals take reactions, or did you say they get they don't they can't take reactions? No reactions. Okay, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Ayla moves uh, around. Can I just? Yeah, I just want to prepare myself and <laughs> to do any like strength related tasks that no one tells so me sorry. to do. I'm so sorry. What? I feel bad. No, what? don't. <laughs> Salty. Game I, I, no, Tom, as a point, I'm not mad. I'm not salty. That's a fucking genius move. I'm so proud of you that <laughs> that's such he's a fucking a clever boy. thing to do. You are literally, I that has saved the party. the encounter, though. Yeah, like, no, you but yeah. It, Good. You, yeah, used, you actually just saved our key ability of your class. You saved the party with, like, a key ability. I'm, I'm really happy. Like, it's cool. Um, awesome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm just going to ready Madison. my action and wait. Sure. Yeah. Nova, at the start of your turn, con saving throw for me, please, as you are technically still starting in the cloud that was created. I'm so uh, proud of you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, 19 by the way, plus three. I, half, half damage, uh, seven more points of poison here, uh, I wouldn't have walked into it, by the way. Um, uh, it, no, it's okay. only moved there. So on its turn, it moved. Oh, it, it, drifts. Drifts. it drifts. It drifts. Right, yeah. okay, okay. It drifts. Uh, and constitution saving uh, throw for the concentration, please, Nova. Because it's at the end uh, of your turn that you figure plus out the three. Easily enough. Okay. So you still have to, you know, finish your action examining this thing. However, you finish. Uh, this machine, you identify three problems with it, right? And I'll tell you what skill checks need to be done to fix them. You need to um, identify which uh, one of, you have to look and examine a narrow and complicated array of crystals and identify which one of them is corrupted. This is a perception check. You need to remove a large broken steel cylinder from inside the machine. This is a strength check. You also need to input a correct sequence of runes that have become unstable. This is an investigation check. So each of those, those three checks uh, you, they all have to be completed to fix this machine, all right? Uh, and that's at the end of your turn. So you can communicate that to the team, um, and if you assist them, you can give them advantage, or if you do it, you can you can do it as well. Okay. Um, Nova. Uh, no, I'm Nova. I'm Nova. That's Nova. We're all Nova. <laughs> Ayla! <laughs> There's Hello. a broken cylinder uh, inside of it that needs removing. You're strong enough to do it. Quill, I need some perception in here. Um... The, there's uh, crystals. I need you to, to figure out which one is broken and needs removing. I'm gonna deal with the runes. Um, and then can I can I move out of this stupid cloud? Um, you can. And then start identif. Uh, no, is it rune? Uh, no. So this is a, so at the uh, end of your turn you get the thing. You can still move, but you can't make an okay. action this turn. Like you had to finish examining it. Uh, but you can move I'm out of it. And then Ayla, you did say you okay. held an action to do any strength stuff, right? So if you yeah. want to try and make that strength check now, it's an athletics check. Yeah. Uh, right. Technically, I'm still raging for another until the next round. You are. When you I will are. drop it. Uh, right, so... Yeah. Drop, 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 drop. Oh, let's wait for the roll. I'll wait for the roll. Oh, 19. I almost got 20. 19 plus 12. Oh, plus 12. Yeah, okay. If 19 <laughs> was the total, that would have been a different story. No, you no, lean over, uh, you open up like this kind of like metal plating, and you can see that, yeah, wedged inside this device is this large, heavy, dense looking steel container. You get your arms around it and uh, lift it off the ground, uh, strain your muscles, you pull it out, free it, and you can begin to see like fans and things beginning to whir and spin inside. That is a success, that is a completion. Um, One down. My yes, suggestion through free action of messengering to Nova yes. is maybe I can help with perceiving because Quill can get to Moonstar faster than I can and she'll need help too. Roger, right. Roger. 
Uh, well, Lucius, you are up next, and then it will be Kilek, and then Sentry, because none of these things, all these things will do is run away. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm right on the edge here of this gas cloud, holding my breath, like, <gasps> and going through. I'm still on the tip of it, though, um, and I'm going to try and perceive... So on that, uh, when a creature enters the fog for the first time, so Constitution saving throw for me, please, right. Lucius, and then and All then right. you can make the perception. Well, I'm gonna constitute the crap eleven. Full damage. <laughs> you kind of move through this gas, <laughs> like you're holding your breath from the Ethereum anyway, and yeah, you're just like it seeps into your skin, into your eyes. Uh, it's twenty points of poison damage. I'm down. Lucius falls unconscious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So he wades 20. into the poison and then <laughs> just falls unconscious. I mean, one of them uh, did 33, did you know? <laughs> uh, Lucius, the other thing is, is because you're unconscious, you start breathing again. Um, you are poisoned. Uh, you are currently poisoned by the Ethereum as well. Poisoned is a condition that gives you disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Right. Cool. Tom, can you check one thing for me on your amazing yeah. channel divinity? Does it affect sure, sure. all creatures within 30 feet, you said? Or is it just one creature is turned? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it just one? Oh no. Oh, this doesn't this doesn't work like the other turn undead. I thought it was Oh Mark, I'm sorry, I didn't read it all. <laughs> That's fine. Because the monsters still have their chance to go. Which one would you like to be turned? The one that was fighting Ayla and Nova? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been that one. One of them? Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. That's fine. Um, so Lucius moves in, <clears throat> collapses over. End of Lucius's turn. Uh, the lightning bolts, the living lightning bolts, one of them will come towards Quill, sensing this kind of power that you've just surged out of it. Uh, the other one is going to... It can't hit all of you. It's actually going to float towards Sentry. So it's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, Yep. So Quill, uh, it's going to make two attacks against you, and then Sentry, it's going to make two attacks against you. Uh... Mm -hmm. Hey, this fight's about to turn real bad, by the way. Uh, 16 yeah. to hit. 16 to hit. Me. Yep, Luke, uh, Quill. Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. Um, it does, I'll second shield attack. It. Oh, you shield that one, so that increases your AC as well for the second attack. Uh, yep. Both of these things just reverberate off the invisible shield. You, like, conjure this shield. The two lightning strikes just kind of echo and bounce off of that. Uh, that's it. Uh, sentry. 18 to mm -hmm. hit. Nope. Uh, 26 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but this is a spell, so I will give you half damage again. Um, that's going to be 23, so uh, 11 points of lightning damage. As it does strike you, your kind of aura, the magic of the, the matrix does kind of absorb some of your stuff, um, uh, some of the pain, but yeah, you do still take a little bit of damage from that. The Cloud Kill spell will move away from Quill, as it is supposed to, uh, on its turn. It just floats into the corner of the room. Uh, its fog drifts another uh, five, ten feet. Uh, that is its go. The other one uh, that is kind of coming up behind will float next to Quill as well, and it will try and strike him uh, with a kind of tendril of living mist. Uh, 24. Oh, even with the shield, yeah. And then the second one is not going to hit because I think that's going to be uh, 17, which your shield yeah, will beat. Hit. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 16 poison oh. damage as this thing swipes oh. you with like a fist made of gas. <laughs> kind of like punches you in the chest. Well, let's hope Cloud Kill isn't going to do too much damage. Uh, Quillic, it's the start of your turn. Can you make a con save for me, please, as you are still in this gas? Ooh, 18. 18, you succeed. Half damage. 
Uh, 11 points of poison damage. Oh my god, I'm still alive. How did I do that? <laughs> so you're like... <laughs> like swiping your wings away, like desperately trying to hold your breath. Yeah, man. Uh, not looking good. Uh, right, I will use... Um, I can't see Lucius right now. Or can I? I can't. Uh, I would say you cannot. It. You'd have to come at least five feet back to see him. All right. Well, I'm going to channel Divinity on the uh, lightning one that just went to attack me. The lightning next Okay, to me. so you can do it again, basically, yeah? I can do it twice for a short rest, yeah. Nice, cool. Um, so I don't think they connect. Wisdom. Nope, fails. Fails, becomes turned. Cool. Well, two of them are at the fight for a minute and slightly less than a minute. Um, yeah. I, oh, God, I really want to get around to Uh I will... Use a bonus action to glug a greater healing potion. Okie dokie. Um, <clears throat> I would say that in the process of breathing, can you make a constitution saving throw? <laughs> Drinking does require some element of... Well, actually, no, it doesn't, actually, I would say. No, you're all right. Do it's it a great vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five, nine, 10. Oh, I rolled very high, Tommy. Uh, 13. Uh, 17 hit points. I... Took that away from my health. I can't remember what I was on. Uh, I do. What was that? <laughs> Just put cool. the healing in, and it said death saves. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> um... <laughs> I heal myself to death. <laughs> uh, anything else, Tom? So that was bonus action. Uh, action. I'm assuming you don't want to move. And I, no, I don't want to move. Act. Like if if I know this poison is going to move away from me in the next turn, uh, then I won't. It does move. move slowly. It might move away from you. One would hope. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I'm going to stay right. here. Sentry. Um, I'm going to start making my way back uh, to this lightning cloud that attacked me. So I'm going to go down, down there. Do you um, want to go? You enter into the fog. So con saving yeah. throw if you do. All right. Con saving yeah, throw. I'm going to do it. <sighs> 12. Time 25 die. half because it is magic. Uh, it's a spell damage, yep. so that would become 12. 12 points. 12 points of poison damage. 12 damage. Okie dokie. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Raffle Raff Smite as a bonus action um, and then uh, attack uh, this thingy twice. 1 2 Smackaroo. Yes. 1 2 Smackaroo. Oh, yes, boy! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, before, right, would you like to Divine Smite Sentry? Because remember, like, we have to calculate the damage, because you've also got Wrathful Smite active. Got which is smite. Make I, can only, I can only do one level three, and I might... Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my level three spell slot, so right. now I'm going to do just the okay. Wrathful Smite damage. So what's your normal sword damage? Is 1d8 plus... What? 1d8 plus five, plus a d4. So eight plus... Okay, hang on. All right, so 8 plus 5 would be 13, plus 4 is 17. So roll a d8 and a d4. Let's do the weapons damage first, and then we'll do Wrathful Smite. Good God. There we go. <laughs> so another 5, so 22. Five. And then how much damage does Wrathful Smite do? 1d6, I believe. Let me have a double check. Uh, yeah, 1d6 psychic damage. So it's just a level 1 spell, right? It's just not like yeah. a... Okay, no. so it's another 6 plus 1d6, so roll a d6 for me. 4? Alright, and then that's it, yeah? And then what's the extra yeah, effect it. on Wrathful Smite? Uh, the target, if the target is a creature, it must make a whiz saving throw or be frightened of you until okay. the spell ends. Really now? Also, okay. just reminded, you have improved Divine Smite, which is you always add another d8 to all of your attacks. So yeah. roll it. That's eight plus oh another d8 because it's a crit. That's a four. Oh, so, you, so you do two d8 and a d4 for every attack. I yeah. do two. Plus five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus five. Plus five. Oh my god. Uh, that's forty-four points of damage um, on attack one <laughs> to this thing, uh, and then it has to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. It fails. So it, it it's Ooh. frightened as well. It's frightened. Uh, it is... 
it is immune to being frightened because turned isn't the same as frightened. This thing is just a living spell. It cannot be frightened. Um, but you okay. still get the extra damage. Like the psychic resonance erupts through it and kind of makes it ripple. Um, this nice. thing is nearly blown apart. With one strike of Her Majesty's Rose, you nearly just dismiss the entire lightning bolt. It's just like a faint trickle of like left. Nice. <laughs> Second attack. Second attack. Now re you roll the 20, which means the next no! one's a one. It's a five. Fifteen. Is it is enough to hit? It's AC is oh. 15. Oh, yes. <laughs> just barely, just barely scrapes it. It's a 2d8 plus five. Plus a d4. 12, seven, 17 plus a d4. 19. Is enough to kill it <laughs> with two oh. <laughs> The yes. queen once again, um, sentry, her yes. majesty's rose wipes through and then you just thrust it, the thorns of the blade, dispersing the rest of the lightning as it just coalesces and dispersts all around you in like a big kind of uh, leaving yeah. you in the middle of the remnants of this thing. Um, what a turn. Anything else, sentry? That's all my movement. That's all my actions. I am okay. done. T.Y. Okay. Moonstar finishes her examination and she will just call out. Uh, I need somebody over here to help me. I need somebody strong and somebody nimble. I, I need somebody with nimble hands to repair some internal damage. Um, she's just calling this I'm out. <laughs> uh, uh, that's like, and then next turn she can attempt to do the Arcana. Ayla. Hello. Um, Hello. There's an unconscious Lucius next to you. Your rage ends. Yes, there is. Um, does it end if I did something in my last turn that was still yeah. did you take like using my strength? Last turn? No, no, never mind. You I have will. To take um... Okay, it's gonna take my whole action, but I'm gonna feed Lucius a potion of. I've only got one. Do an you should. Oh, yeah. Very well remembered, Chris Trot. Yes, yeah. please. Injury check. DC 10. Is it a ability um, check? 10. <laughs> it's a con saving throw. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what potion? Uh, what kind of potion is it? I've only got one uh, potion of greater healing. It's the only thing I have. All right. We'll yes. mark that off, and I will roll it. Six. Nine. Twelve. Plus four, 16 hit points. Lucius, uh, Lucius, you are poisoned, so you have disadvantage on yeah. ability checks um, and uh, uh, attack rolls. Also, this is for Chris Trot's knowledge, um, your magic is kind of empowered whilst you are poisoned in this way. Literal like remnants, like Ethereum Trace is in your bloodstream. Whenever you cast a spell, it is automatically one level higher than it normally is. But when you cast a spell, you take force damage equal to the level of the spell every time you cast it. Um, in fact, actually, oh I think God. it's more than that. I think it's okay. I think it's twice the level of the spell. So, oh shit! Uh, Interesting. So you kind of like Very come crazy. awake, but, and you can feel this like power in your blood. But yeah, uh, it's also unstable. Uh, Ayla, that's your yeah. whole turn. No, I can still move. You got movement um, and bonus action. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, so I'm action. going to um, try and make my way across to Moonstar, which I will say sure. in the messenger rings, I'll say, I'm on it, I'm going over. Um, and I will, so I've moved five, so that's 10, 15, just step over Lucius, because he's on the floor. Yep, yep. <laughs> 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, so go I'm skirting, I'm skirting. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, so that's actually, that's as far as I can get um, yep. this turn. Um, sure. Because of using my action. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Nova go and then Lucius. Can I uh, bonus action glug a potion of superior healing uh, oh. and then action do my, uh, my investigation myself. check? I do. Uh, 8d4 plus 8 for superior. Very much. Four, four, wow. Seven. Ten. Fourteen. Uh, Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. 
plus eight, 28 hit points. Nice. I should just get um, you guys to roll these fucking potions. I don't know why I do it. Um, but yeah, yeah. 28 hit points. You um, know them by heart better than we do. D &D Action to you know. do uh, yeah. investigation. Um, investigation check, yep. So I'll investigate these things. I rolled a 14 plus two, 16. 16 is just enough. There's a moment of panic where you're examining it, you're trying to put them right, and then there's one, and you're like, oh god, is it this way? Do I, do I cross the rune, or is this, oh, and like you really, re and you just make a, a guess, your best guess, and it just happens to work. You see it kind of, and you begin to hear like the whirring of fans and something, some sort of process inside appears to be working, but only just um, as you succeed on that check. Uh, cool. Anything else? Nova. As well. I'm just going to tuck sure. myself back around and just go to Lucius. Are you okay, Lucius? Uh, well, I Lucius, you'll go. I think Help so, but I, I, I need to be careful. Uh, I've inhaled the ethereum gas. I can't cast yeah, You feel like really weak and sickly as well. Like you, it's like you, like your vision's blurry. You don't. You feel very unwell. I think if I stay too long in this gas, it's going to get me again. I'm of no use. Maybe you should get out I'm of here. I will make my way back to the... Well, oh, actually, there's a big big gas boy in the way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can still see it kind of training around this thick greenish fog. I'm going to hold my action, which is to mm -hmm. dash into the elevator once that gas has given me a safe passage to do so without an opportunity attack. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, the remaining lightning bolt is turned, I believe, so it basically runs away. Quill, you do get an opportunity attack if you would like. Nah, uh, no, no, don't tempt me. Uh, yeah, I think it would get to about there. So the elemental just arcs away, fleeing from Quill as best as it can, almost pulsed, mm. pushed away by some unseen force. Um, the cloud that is around uh, Kilek and the others does begin to drift away uh but the remaining elemental lucius i mean you can trigger your held action but there is an element like the the living spell itself is still in the doorway of the elevator and it is going to uh explode itself in a big ball of gas around itself huh um i guess i can't i can't change my held action um no Sadly like, not. I am waiting for this thing to move, so I wouldn't have the instinct to move out of the way of an explosion like that. I because you were kind of looking to move ahead of you, like you were waiting for it to move so you could dart past it. So this thing just kind of erupts. I need Quill and Lucius to make Constitution saving throws. Uh, shit. Oh, that's not a saving throw. I just rolled there. Oh god, but I rolled okay. a five. Plus con six. Yeah, same thing. Six. Nine. Six. It take 26 points of poison damage as it just kind of explodes around you, uh, engulfing you both. I'm down. I'm down. <gasps> Shit! I've got no healing left whatsoever. That's it. Right. Uh, what's more? Uh, oh, I rolled a 14 on the injury. Yeah, injury check as well for me, Lucius, as well, please. 15. 15 you're both fine. <laughs> oh, you're both I rolled a uh, two. Kila can Kala. Uh, this thing will also just My move. Oh, there I can just float over your bodies. Uh, yeah, it's your turn. Death saving throw, please. So, one save. Boom. Uh, Twelve. Uh, it's not a constitution oh, it's just saving a D20. throw. D20. A death saving throw is just D20. No bonuses. Oh, I rolled an I rolled an eleven then. My bad. If you're um, on eleven, okay, we'll take that. That's fine. Yep. So no success. One success. Uh, cent uh, sentry. <laughs> you watch as this yeah. other ball, this other kind of being just <laughs> erupts around itself, creating this wall of gas and Quill and Lucius just both drop to the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over um bam to the both of them. Let's see, mm -hmm. I've got a healing potion. Um I think I've got a healing potion. Wee -o, wee -o, wee -o, uh, I do Quill, right. you are also poisoned and are under the same effect of the Ethereum gas, so uh. spell level is plus one, but you take damage every time you cast a spell. Uh, nice. 
Um, I'm gonna um, create a heal. Uh, who do I give it to? Let's just. I'll go Lucius. I'll give it to Lucius. Okay. Uh, great heal. Three, five, seven, ten. Uh, Fourteen hit points, Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> kind of come to you're still surrounded by this gas but Sentry's leaning over you pouring a potion in your mouth um uh Sentry that was your action movement anything yeah. else um is it uh, it's also a, can you make a con save for me as well Sentry because you did yeah. move into in fact you need to make two for me because you started in one cloud kill and then moved into another <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Uh, 24 for the first one and 18 for the second one. Alright, you succeed on both, so it's half damage from both. So it's 15 from the 15 first and one and 9 from the second one. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> not 14. So 15, 15 24 poison nine. damage. Uh, yeah, so 24. Okie dokie. Oh, and then you half it again because it is a spell, actually. So you succeed on the saving throw and then it's halved again. So it'd be 15 down to 7, 9 down to 4. So, 11 points of total. That's right, because you have your spell aura as well. Yeah. Which also, as you are stood next to Quill and Lucius, your aura is now affecting them, and it will half spell damage for them as well. Cool. Um, okay. Right. Meanwhile, Moonstar, just doing fixing fixing generators. Uh, you do see her, like, beginning to, like, tweak and modify something inside, and it does seem to have some sort of effect. That is a success. The one that she's doing. Oh, uh, she just called me, like, I I don't know, I don't know what's happening over there, but I need I need somebody strong. I might be able to do the the more dexterous stuff myself, but I need somebody uh, stronger than me. Everyone's pretty dead here. We're on our way. We'll all be dead if one of you don't help me fix this. Uh, Ayla. Um, I'm gonna. There is now just a my... wall gas in between you. <sighs> Forty-five. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. If I go forty-five, I'm up here, and I've skirted the gas cloud, and I've skirted the okay. lightning. Okay. So, can I use the remaining bit of movement that I have to get up to the generator? You can, but that's you, that's your action. That's yeah, everything. That's everything yep. for me this that's turn. Yeah. Okay. So Ayla runs all the way up to the generator. Um, Moonstar will point out to you so that for you know on your next turn, there's this really heavy valve and um, vent that have been welded shut. She needs you to basically use strength to break them open. It's another athletics check. Nova Vija. Um, so I would like to make the remaining perception check. Um, <laughs> so you're probably gonna say no, but I have double advantage, one from the Rod of Alertness and one from Tiangong. Um, so there is no such thing as double alertness. Regular, I just, it's just regular I know, advice. but I just want it to be double advantage, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there is I no just wanted to say double, it. Would you like me to give you double disadvantage, Kim, on things when there are two disadvantages? I rolled a 17. <laughs> that was the highest that I rolled. Um, is that the total? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are... This, it's like a, a mass network of these complicated stones and arrays and you're looking at it and you're just, oh god, you can't, think, like, they all look the same, they're all blending, you're freaking out about Lucius and the others, like, you can't, yeah, it's it's not a success, you, you can't figure out which is the wrong one. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> I think that's all I got. That's all, that's no. all I got. That's murder she no wrote. No bonus actions? <laughs> Uh, can I try again? <laughs> uh, it's an action to try, so you would need to have a second action. Yeah. But Lucius, uh, you start your turn in the cloud. It is a uh, con saving throw with plus three because of Sentry's aura. All right. Uh, ding dong, here we go. That is a 19. That's a success. You take half damage, then half again because of Sentry's aura. Yay! So 10, five points of poison damage. Sweet. Like you're still stood, like as this gas is all around you. Who lived? <clears throat> um, <And> the boy <laughs> who lived, Lucius. <laughs> I've already started my turn in this thing, so it can't hurt me anymore, right? Well, However, remember that the creature is separate to the effect. The effect is yeah, like it, it conjures is. this cloud, but the creature is its own thing. 
You can disengage as an action, remember. You can spend your action to disengage. I'm going to disengage, and... That's my action, isn't it? I can't give Quill a potion. I mean, you can just keep action. moving, man. You can spend all of I your say, movement. 15, 25, um, 30. Weren't you prone? Like... Oh. Yeah, you would be prone, so half movement is true. 5, Five 10, 10, 15. 15. Yeah, that's pretty much where you can get to. All right. But you're going to get uh, it next turn. <laughs> can I, like, just pass Sentry my greater healing potion? Yes, I'm not I would say it you, can, you, can, you can do that. Yes, it. I would, absolutely, you can do that. I'm giving her my potion of greater healing. Okay, all right, you give Sentry the potion. Um, Quill, I have a very, very important question for you. If you go down, what happens to the turned elementals? Uh, I feel like you know about this. Uh, I do, that's why so I'm asking. Hurt me, Mark, you're trying to hurt me. No, because I, uh, I, it says that they don't repeat the saving throw, so I don't know if it persists if you're incapacitated or not. Um, so, if the creature fails its saving throw, it's turn for one minute or until it takes damage. Um, that is it. it okay, in that case, these things... The two elementals, the cloud kill in one corner and the lightning bolt, they are just moving away from where they saw Quill. They do not return. Um, the only thing that remains then is this last living one, which is going to attack Sentry. Uh, boop, boop, boop. That is a 19 to hit Sentry. Nope, no hit. Uh, that's a natural 20 to hit Sentry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> the crit takes, the crit giveth away. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Quite the right order, but sure. Well, you know what I mean. The crit of giver. Fucking hell. Um, Ooh, 56 spicy. points of damage as <sighs> this thing surges with like poisonous gas all into you. It is poison damage, um, but this isn't its spell mimicry, so this is just like... You're engulfed by this poisonous gas. Um... Yeah, because it was a crit. It so is... because I because it maxed the yeah. dice and then it does the dice again. Oh so my it's just God. like your divine. What damage was it? Are you still damage? up? I'm still up, just about, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. That's its turn. Get him, girl! Uh, Ke Keelik and Kalar. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm in the poison and down. Yeah, do what you have are you resistant to poison, Sentry? Do you have any poison resistance in your sheet? I am resistant for poison. You then you can half that. <laughs> <laughs> then oh, you can half that. So <laughs> that's 25, that. So 25, 28. Uh, 28. So you can add, if you've already taken 56, just give yourself 28 hit points back. Oh, okay. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. I did, I was thinking like, I'm sure guardians have poison resistance. I'm sure they do. Yeah, yeah I don't know I've... if the crit like negated that in some way. No, 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 it doesn't. Um, no, no. no. Okay. The resistance system. Right, so Quill, death saving throw, please, mate. Um, okay, uh, I was going to ask, I'm in the poison at the start of my turn. You take an I automatic kill. death, you take an automatic... Um, no, you still make saving throws, I think. Even when you're unconscious, I think you can still make constitution saving throws. As if it's your body. Well, I just mean you. I'm taking damage. Yeah. Like... You are taking some damage, actually. That's true. No matter what, you're going to take so some it's... damage. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, one failure automatically. Okay. Uh, D20, roll. Oh, six. That's two. That's two. Sentry. Two failures. Um, I'm going to give Quill the healing potion that Lucius gave me. Yep. Um, Thank you. Oh, my God. 12, 12 hit points, Quill. Yeah. We are scraping away. Can, I... can, yeah. can I, like, pick him? Can I pick him up and move him out of the uh, the gas cloud? Five ten. If I you are happy to take an, I can get out of there. If you take an opportunity attack, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm All doing right. that. Move him to where you want him to be, and I'll make an attack against you. Uh, uh, just bottle uh, that him is going to be. Trample him. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a ten. That's a ten to hit. It fails to hit. Okay, you. yeah, it doesn't hit. So you drag him with so you. I can go there. Half movement. All right. Cool. Uh, you are just on the very cusp of this other poison cloud, but you are at least away from the creature. Um, okay. It should move Moonstar. away. Moonstar. On her turn. Should. Should. 
That was cocked. Moonstar, you can see her reaching in, and Ayla, you're the only one who sees this. She's trying to keep her hands steady. They're shaking. She kind of takes a breath. She reaches in, and you can see her, oh, like, yeah. adjusting these very fine kind of crystal um, strings and shards, and she's kind of, you know, arranging them into, like, a pattern. And then she brings them out, and, like, she, like, clutches herself, but she seems to have succeeded in uh, completing this other task. Um, Ayla, your turn. Okay, can I uh, make uh, the strength check that she needs to... Yep. athletics. ...do her fix? <laughs> um, 15 <laughs> plus 12. Yes. You see that these, these big heavy valves, you grip them, your muscles stretch and you rip it open the valves like these vents you just bend them out of shape and all this kind of gas releases uh this one is completely fixed uh moonstar as a free action will yell out this one's done uh uh to whoever can hear it um wow nova Amazing. and she's like calling out in nova's direction uh can Ayla, I you then... still have movement um yep. uh, 5 10 15 20 20 30 if I have four, I, I, well, I'll probably stay around here. I don't think the gas cloud will get me here. Or if I can move. Okay. 15, 20, 20. Yeah, Nova, I'm just going to be really races. careful, but start making my okay. way back to people. Nova. Uh, I will uh, do my perception check again and roll with advantage again. Um, sorry, investigation. Um, I rolled a natural 20. I rolled a natural 20. Um, All right. But, nice. Okay. <laughs> but I... Invest, is it... What, what was it? No, it was perception, wasn't it? Perception. Yep. I got a minus one, so 19. That's not oh, enough. No. Oh, my God. Does a nat 20 negate that? Because it's a nat 20? So, let me describe it. Nova, you're in a panic. Like you're, you, you know that your friends are in danger. You're, you're trying to stay calm, and your brain is just riddled with like all this overflow of information. Trying to remember, like, oh god, these, you know, this is different to what you, you know. This magitech, this isn't magitech. This is a theory. Oh, what if I get it wrong? You're like freaking out, and you're looking over, and then it's only because you almost feel Tiangong, like vibrate, and in your mind you hear. Nova, five down, six left, behind three layers. I detect a small infracture upon one of the crystals. And you just look and kind of like checking down this line, you see the one that Tiangong's pointed out following his instruction, their instructions, this hairline crack. And when you kind of pull that free, the whole thing lights up with power and you begin to oh. hear this surge of arcane energy. The DC was 19 as a point oh my god <laughs> oh, I you had any way you were gonna that. pass that i didn't know that your perception was minus one that's nuts um but yeah you watch his thingy and then yeah this one is now fixed and clear holy crap oh, holy crap. oh so over the messenger ring over the messenger ring i'll i'll be like i've done it i've done it i've done it what's next where is everyone i'm surrounded by bad Help. Moonstar, well, the people, where's the are... switch? <laughs> uh, Moonstar calls over. Central console. If Nova's finished, get somebody to there. Get someone to there. Um, and she points. Central lever. Pull it. Uh, as a held action that he has taken every single turn. <laughs> Maletir holds his breath, closes his eyes, and then oh, runs God. down the center of the thing. Maletir. <laughs> 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 He runs uh, through the two gas clouds. He's going to make two saving throws. Uh, he's um, oh, there's no way he's going to do this. There's no way he's going to do this. He's going to die. There's no he's way. Succeed, he succeeds on the first one. Half damage, 10 points of damage. He gets through the other one, like tears down his eyes. He's like, like shrieking in pain. Uh, the next saving throw is a natural Redemption. one. He collapses down oh. on the floor about halfway oh. through the cloud. <laughs> Oh, uh, awesome you that Because oh he was my. trying to help. He He's said that he was trying to make it. good. Oh. He was trying to make good. That so was his held action. 
Is the con yep. is the central one? Is that that big circle at the top of the map? Yes, yes, it's that Fuck, one. Fucking ripped away from it. <laughs> Shit. Lucius, you start in a cloud. It's a con saving throw. It is, yeah. Have the clouds move? Oh, Ten. <laughs> oh, sorry. The clouds would move. Uh, okay. This one moves. It's gonna be still five, over Lucius. Ten. No, no. Like, oops, that way. This one, when he summoned it, it was here. He would have wanted it to. Where was the majority of the enemies? Um, right near the G reactor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Five, ten. So you do still start in it, Lucius. Um, I got a ten. You do have my aura, just about. Thirteen. That's right, because you have Helios, right? Who in, improves your um, oh, no, range. No, not, not Helios. It's, um, uh, just, it's ten foot, isn't it? Yeah, it's just ten foot standard. Okay. So you get plus three. It's still a failure on the saving throw, but you do take half damage. Oh my god! Down. My fucking rolls. My rolls. Cloud kill has been seventeen. He had like six hit points or something. <sighs> seventeen <laughs> points of poison damage. Well, con save for injury check. Oh, you, right, that's you're still a success. Right. <laughs> that's still a success. You are, however, down. Um, yeah. Wasn't. On, uh, I hate to do this. Doesn't each consecutive. Injury check get harder and harder. It does, but not enough. It would only be one at this point. Uh, he, uh, sorry, it would okay. be twelve DC, which yeah, is fine. Just um, past then. <laughs> yeah, just past. <clears throat> Sensing uh, that the reactor has been fixed, the, the the cloud kill that's still in the thing does ignore Lucius and is going to go towards um, probably Nova actually, uh, as the closest potential target. Fine. Yep, Nova, two attacks coming your way. Uh, that is a uh, 19 to hit. Exactly. And then, yeah, the next one's going to hit as well. Uh, first attack is 21 points of poison damage. Second attack is 28 points of poison damage. Oh, what is that? Yeah, it That's hits ridiculous. super hard. This thing hits super hard. Like, it just kind of... Okay. assaults you with this mist and you're like feeling it going in your skin your body is burning up as you desperately try and do so um Keelik and Kalar uh am I in this cloud or is it wrapped you are here? you start your turn in this cloud you're just on the cusp of it you are uh, within Sentry's okay. Aura so plus three and then half damage uh 17 that's oh, a success plus three, so 20 Yep, uh, so you're going to take half damage and then half again because of Sentry's aura. So 25 down to 12, six points of poison damage. Oh my god, thank god I passed then. I have 12. Uh, <clears throat> right, I will, um, I guess, get up half my movement and I've got exhaustion, so that's my entire movement. I will, <laughs> bonus action, uh, heal Lucius for At what level? 2d4. At uh, level two. Oh, I'm, I've got I've got Ethereum poison. Yep. Do I know anything about how, how much this is going to hurt me? I've cast. Tom. Uh, what second level healing word? Second level healing word. Treat it as a third, third level. level healing word. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so three d four plus six. Jesus Christ, thirteen. Lucius, you gain thirteen 14. hit points. You take six points of damage, Quill, because it's oh, uh, no. twice the level of the spell <laughs> cast. But you watch as Quill, like oh. this surge of magic comes out of him, fills Lucius's nice. body with light, and then Quill, your body, just like your blood oh, kind of burns inside. Oh, so it's- And Lucius is going to wake up in the cloud and level. go down again. Because so, you oh, cast yeah. it at two, it becomes three, you double the three for six points of damage. <sighs> I'm down. Yep. He's down. Oh my but god. You do right. not take an injury check on that. You do not take an injury check on that. Well, I mean, magic bursting out of my body. It doesn't normalcy. burst out your body. Like, your body vibrates and you just feel like this intense pressure and then you collapse. Uh, blood kind of coming out your little beak. Sentry. Oh my goddamn priest of magic. Yep. <laughs> Ethereum's, oh. Ethereum's made it too strong. Sell <laughs> 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 the oh, Um. Right. Um, OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna go five ten. Can we open Lucius? But can I like take his hand and like guide him out of the cloud into like safety? You can carry him. You move at half speed when you carry somebody, so you can so like scoop him up and just run him out. So I should be able to move him like around here, like in this corner. Yep, and then like bring him Perfect. to here. Yep. Got a yeah, con save first my... though, right? You do con save actually. Yep. Very good point. Thank you. I'll we'll take that. Start your turn. Lucius whispers yeah, back to you. Eight. Make sure to make a con save. Well, you fail. <laughs> you take half damage from spells and you're resistant to poison. So you take... Uh, oh, wow. That one sucked. Seven, three. You take three poison damage. Three <laughs> Sentry poison. was like, is very good against these things because yeah. poison means nothing. Um, okay. Um, that's my whole movement. Yep. Done. I've got no spells left. Um, I'll just tell Lucius to like... Remember, you can do a medicine check to stabilize a dying creature. It's an action, but anybody can make a medicine check. Oh! Okay. Then, okay, so I've got Lucius out. Then, I'll, yeah, I'll just tell... I'll, I'll tell Lucius just to, like... I don't know, like, like look up, look after Quill. I need to go find Nova. Um, yeah, right. and that's... Am I, am that's I your whole turn? Yeah, I'm conscious. Yeah, yeah that's my whole turn. I'll try. <laughs> Lucius looks panicked at this point. Yeah. Moonstar, oh, yeah, 5, 10, 15. She can't risk the poison. She looks at Ayla and she's just like, I don't think I can make it through this gas. Ayla, you have to get through to the control panel. Uh, what has she got? Has she got anything? Nope. She she just can, all she can do is try and move around it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then a little bit of extra movement that she didn't use. She just starts running around. Ayla. So I have enough movement to run through the cloud and get to here. All right, one con saving throw. As you went to the cloud. That is a eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen. Half damage. Seven points okay. of poison damage. Okay. You sprint um, through, you I... feel it burning your things, and then there's this this big kind of like pull lever, like this kind of arch lever in the center of the, the device. I pulled the lever. There's a moment where nothing happens and your heart sinks, and then you begin to hear this like as vents built into like kind of the tops and sides oh. of the room begin pulling all of the gas. You see the, the Ethereum like uh, engines themselves begin to stabilize. All the gas, the poison gas in the room is sucked out along with the Ethereum as well, the waste of Ethereum. Oh. The living spells become inert. They just fade away into oh, nothing. Good. And you feel oh. this whole thing just but you do have two people still unconscious, so we're going to keep initiative just for a little tiny second here. Uh, Nova Vija. Um, so just to confirm, there aren't giant puffball gas death clouds uh, in, near me? Okay, this is good. Okay, we've got this. Let me just delete these. Um, thank you. I couldn't see the map. <laughs> I will begin making my way uh, back 5, 10, 15, 20... Uh, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna dash. Um, and I do have a potion, uh, but obviously I'm out of, uh, I'm out of yep. stuff to do anything with it. So okay. I will shout. Uh, is is Lucius up? Is um, mm -hmm. Lucius is up. Yeah, Sentry is up. up. Okay. Yep. Everybody's up except for Quill and Mal. They're the only two who are down. Oh, so yeah, Mal. I guess in terms of <laughs> yeah RP, I'll just run in and just like trip, fall. I've got a potion like just in my hand, but I've tripped and fallen. So in the kind of like terms of RP, it's like there. Like there's a potion for. Now let me to roll to up. see if the potion breaks. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, Lucius. I've got a stress headache, Mark. <laughs> uh, We're going to try and do this quickly. Roll. I know we got some stuff after us. I don't want to take in for their time. Crawl but... over, uh, shaking yep. hands. It's like, no, cool. please. <laughs> uh, and uh, pour it in. All right, what kind of potion nice. is it? It's Kim, a... just regular? Greater. 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 
So 4d4 and burn plus 4. Burning those, burn those graters. 16 hit points, Quill. Got nothing left. Potion. Nice, I'm back. I got one left. Oh my god. Uh, Lucius, anything else? If not, Quilek. 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 Um, I'll roll Quilek. the way. Quilek. <laughs> Quilek. So you just kind of roll to the side. And just flop on the floor. Just trying sure. to get his breath back. Breath. Yep. Uh, Quilek. Uh, I am going to uh, slide my... Uh, what is it? It's a, a, t a scroll. Cure Wound scroll at second level. I'm going to slide that across the floor. The sentry. <laughs> go, get, go get Mal! Go get Mal! Sentry can cast it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, is that all you do? <laughs> Passing off potions and <laughs> kill wounds to each other. The all the like, spellcasters like, just rolling around. <laughs> so this is, this is going to be, this is like the decider, and then we'll jump over to just high rollers for the kind of post-show stuff. Um, Sentry, you get the scroll, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll start making my way over to Malik. Um, can you get to him? Malik. Can you get to within touch 5, range? 10, 15, 20, 25, I can get to, I can dash and get to him. Uh, yeah. no. But Dash, I can't, you can't heal him on this turn. I can't heal him. Can't I can't heal him. All right. I can stand over him forebodingly. Ayla. <laughs> oh, actually, Moonstar's there. Moonstar gets to him, and Moonstar does have a single regular healing potion, <laughs> and she will it's heal like, him. It's like a so, baton as, race, as like... a point, just to wrap this up, I rolled on Mal's death saving throw. He got a natural one. He had two death oh saving my throws. Oh my god. god. Oh. Moonstar gets there, pours this potion in his mouth, and he's just like, <coughs> and he comes to. Holy and that crap. is where we're going to end today's episode. Oh, uh, boy. Amazing. That was amazing. stressful. Oh, really? We have that, got stress like, headache going on. Nothing left. We've got nothing no, left. That, we're, we're that is a perfect heard... example of, by the way, that is yeah. a perfect D&D example of an encounter which compared to all of the fucking like, deadly encounters against legendary enemies you've been fighting, that was a medium encounter for you guys. And it just goes to show yeah. you that like certain enemies, like turn. they just, yeah. it just turns. It's not like, that, it's the yeah. fact that, it's not that, it's the fact that we've been through like five or six other fights. Well, that's the other thing, got yeah. Nothing left. I, got nothing my left. last spell slot is the one that killed me. Yep. And, that's, and that's why I don't heal. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't heal, by the way, because it hurts me. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Sure. We are I had, um, Yogscast. I think Yogscast yeah. have to end because I think Parsec Dude. pals are on after us. So we're going to yeah. end on Yogscast. So you, they're going to take over. We're going to continue Enjoy. on high rollers. Bober we'll talk a little bit and then we'll do donations and stuff. So Yogscast, goodbye. D Enjoy Boba and Pets. High rollers. D and D. Bye. Bye. Come, come see us. Bye, Yogscats. They're gone. Bye, Yogscats. They're gone. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Real quick. Um. I, so I used obviously my thingy incorrectly to begin with, but when I yeah. focused it on the two lightning dudes, what can the lightning guys actually do? Because these poison ones seemed horrible. Yeah, it should have. So the, the lightning ones, ones worse. they're they're less, they're not as powerful. They have a lower CR, but they can become a bolt of lightning. So like the lightning bolt spell, like they have a a. a, a, a uh, two out of six chance of recharging that every turn, and they just become a bolt of lightning, which is 8d6 damage, hits everybody in a 100-foot long line. Like, depending on your right. positioning, Ooh. they could have hit multiple mm. of you and just been like... Jesus. The cloud kill ones are higher challenge rating, and I think that a lot of that is like their their area of effect stays, and then it drifts kind of slowly. Mm. Yeah, um, cloud kills horrible especially you're also, rolling you rolled so high on the damage well that well that was the thing is like i was rolling their damage where it was like seven eight seven six five and it's just like fucking hell that's high their normal damage is also ridiculously high like 5d6 that crit against sentry bloody hell that was insane yeah. that was um, bad yeah but their hit points, like you nearly had those all of them destroyed. Like the the lightning bolt one that was left had twenty five HP left. The cloud kill one that was left had um, uh, thirty five HP left. Like it, mm. you know, like they, they didn't have a lot of hit points. If you had been able to just fight them, you could have killed them. But obviously, the whole battle wasn't about fighting the enemies. It was about you know doing yeah. these skill checks and like moving around and doing all of that other stuff. Yeah. So it just goes to show you yeah, that like yeah. that stuff really affects battles as well. Like. Yeah, Damn. it's uh, Damn. it was an it, well, it was intense. Should have got the other ones. Super fucking well done. Excellent tactics and like everybody kind of pulling together and using all everything Those you guys divinities. had. Yeah, yeah. Damn. It was. It was. I, um, you know. Yeah, I had one last thing. I had one last clutch move. Like, yeah, yeah. You, um, yeah. If, if yeah, like, well, yeah. yeah. If if 
everything had failed. I had one last clutch move, like yeah, uh, to to do the last bit. So yeah, I think we would have yeah. been. I knew, right. I knew you had that in reserve as well, but yeah, man, yeah. Um, <laughs> scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff. It was um, scary. Scary. Damn. I can't yeah. remember uh, the last time I rolled a crit on an attack. Jesus. I don't. Yeah. I, when, the thing is, is the I feel that like, tasty. I yeah. feel that you do roll them, but because when you roll them, it's such high damage on a paladin. Paladins and barbarians, like when they crit, yeah. and rogues as well, when they crit, it, especially with these new crit rules where it's like you max the damage and then roll the damage yeah. dice again, it's bananas high. Um, yeah, it's so but then good. It also, when an enemy that does 5d6 plus 4 damage crits you, on an attack it's like 60 points of damage and that's also scary so yeah um yeah it's yeah. good i God love damn. it that was awesome that was really cool yeah um, but you did it some... you've stopped shadow song pinnacle from being destroyed which means you get to keep all the goodies and the schematics and everything yeah. inside um, take it over we oh, no. do, we, uh, do we get a level up <laughs> so no that's very well pointed out i had forgotten to mention this uh you in fact to do you have cleared out oh Shadow Song Pinnacle, oh! and you will oh, level up so i was about to say oh, nice. Three. Three. come the fuck are you serious <laughs> level up out of this no, I, I, had that in my notes. I had that in my notes that when you guys cleared out shadow song pinnacle that was a level up so oh, nice. level 14 oh my god double level ding this 14. week Double What's ding. more, I think, didn't we end Lightfall at level 14? I believe No, we were we 16, did. I think, weren't I think we? we 16 no, you were 16 we were in Descent. In Descent, we leveled you oh, up, remember? Yeah. In Lightfall, I think it was 14, 15, you guys ended up. Okay. Um, Ooh. We're doing it. <gasps> Ooh. Everyone got some juicy wait, stuff? Wait, I'll have wait, to look at mine wait, in a wait. bit, because I'm going to read some donations. Um, Please do. We had a donation from Natalie Hawthorne that said... Hello again. It's been a while since I donated, and since then I made my level 11 players fight an ancient gold dragon who was also a level 20 sorcerer, and they fucking killed her. What the fuck? Shout out to Rosie, <laughs> Dean, and Sam, the madmen who pulled it off. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Um, Joshua McDonald has donated with... Hi guys, I'm a long time fan, been watching from the start. I love high rollers uh, and just wanted to show my appreciation for you guys. Also, I just watched the new recaps and absolutely love them. Thank you, we oh, do too. Thank you. Uh, Great job. They are chaotic, funny, and wholesome. In other words, perfect. Perfect, Ree, oh, there you go. Perfect. Thank you, I'm glad people are enjoying are. them. Thank you for all the love. So that's like people. a solid six out of 10 from Joshua McDonald there. Um, I love Moriarty, it. I'll take it. Moriarty. <laughs> Uh, has donated with first time ever being able to donate today. It's also my first time being able to buy merch. Thanks for the Ooh. endless Ooh. entertainment and helping us all escape for a few hours at a time. Thank you very much, Moriarty. Enjoy your merch. And thank you for the donation. Um, XX Dark Lord 529 XX has donated a full <laughs> hundo. Yes. What a name. Wow. A full hundo. Uh, a full hundo. Uh, thank you. Um, Amazing. First time thank I'm you. able to catch you guys live thanks to my new job. Thank you for the years of entertainment and inspiring me to get into a new hobby. Any advice for someone about to run their first game as a DM? I'm using the Fandover mod rule, a module sorry, from D&D Beyond. Just the bit, the biggest tip I can say is, you know, get to know your players. Think about like, you know, ask them what kind of video games they like, what movies they like and lean into that stuff and just have fun with it. Don't don't stress yourself about the rules. If you don't know a rule, make something up in the moment. Look it up later. It's the easiest thing to do. Vandalver just be like, I'm going to make this decision. Let's look it up later. Yeah. Vandalver yeah. is great as well. Like it will guide you through everything yeah. you need to do super well. Rolling my um, single HP dice. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, Montague, Montague has donated with damn. I got chills from the uh, Titan Killer description. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marsh Tomp has donated with just a hmm. And honestly, that's the scariest donation Marsh Tomp has ever done. Um, yeah, <laughs> Marsh Tomp. What are so you doing? Tame. Like worrying, isn't it? Something's happening. Suspicious. Something's happening. Something's <laughs> building. <laughs> something's They're going. up to yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, Flared9921 has donated $34 dues and they say, Hey, hi, Rollers. I've been watching since, the step since December and have not yet caught up episode 96. But it's my birthday tomorrow and I want to share the so love 96. I've been given by my... What? 96. What? Yeah. Is since that what December. episode they're on? Yeah. yeah. Since December. That's a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a lot. Big, Good yeah, job. big props. Um, well done. But it's, it's their birthday tomorrow, and they wanted to share the love they've been given by their happy family birthday. and partner who have worked to make tomorrow special for them. Also, happy birthday, oh, Mochi. Yeah. yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, also, happy birthday to happy you. Birthday, yeah. Happy birthday to you as well. Just a second. Um, happy birthday. Ghost in progress with a quarter hundo. Ah, yes. Regicide, a classic goal. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Frankie Hero 72 has uh, donated with no message. Thank you. Susie Doodles has donated a quarter hundo with greetings. I would like to compliment Katie on the amazing composition of her stream camera. From makeup to pillows to lights, it's all on point. How much effort did you oh, put into that one, Katie? Strong aesthetic game. <laughs> I my room always looks like this when I make I just my mean bed. The framing but, of it. <laughs> oh no, this just happens to be the only place in my room that can fit my desk, which is quite lucky. <laughs> well, there you go. You got it all on point. There you go. Um, nice. Darrow has donated uh, after I uh, they shortened their name because I keep pronouncing it wrong. They say, "Well, now I feel bad. I'm sorry." Well, there you go. And promise, it isn't just <laughs> you. I donate to Mark from time to time too. My full screen name. Derogaday. Derogaday. Oh, that's Darrow, I see. Oh, Derogaday. Um, is an eighth grade reference to Phantom of the Opera. So it's really my own fault. Love you all. There you go. Um, there you is go. Derogaday correct? Thank Apparently you very much. Not. Um, Dogaday. Dragoday. Derogaday. Varys has donated with no message. Varys, sorry. Uh, thank you very much. Roll Caracope. Uh, hey, y'all. I've been watching since pre-Tom and love the show. Now I've got to Tom and hate it. That bit wasn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> not so clear skies here right now since uh, gender, dys gender dysphoria has been kicking my ass this week. But High Rollers is always a big help feeling better. Much love. I feel Ivy. you on that one. Thank you very much, Paul Carrick. Glad we can help in some way. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Some way, yeah. Uh, Krosnik87. Hey, Mark, how many days beforehand do you personally prepare for a game of D&D &D with the crew? <laughs> Same day, you mean? <laughs> um, no, quite honestly, like, not even joking, I don't like to prep too much in advance, like, like, like writing stuff down. I'll be thinking about things for every, like, every week I will think about, like, oh, what should we do on Sunday? What's a cool thing? certain things I know, but when I come down to like write the notes, I do it the same day because otherwise I'll forget it all. So if I do it the same day, it's fresh in my mind for when we sit down to play. And then that way it's the easiest way to do it. So I actually spend most of my Sunday, um, <clears throat> yeah. like get up and yeah, work sense. on the adventure. So keep it fresh. Um, yeah. Well, some advice you've to You've always the, got uh, little things ticking over. Yeah. Some advice to the person who's playing Fandalver, uh, who mentioned earlier, uh, don't do that. Prepare it way in advance. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nah. Why? It's all there for you. It's fine. Exactly. Uh, it's all written out. Just also, even with a homebrew, ahead. like it's mainly up in here, like the general plot yeah, and everything yeah. that's going on. Mm -hmm. And then it when you because the, the thing for me is like if I come into a session, if I've spent like, you know, two, three hours beforehand, like, okay, this will happen, then this will happen, and I'll write like, oh, this is a cool thing. Sometimes like the only thing that I think is good to prep in advance is stuff like treasure and custom monsters. Sometimes I'll do that in advance, but like actually what happens in the scenario just plan it out in that day and then you've got it you got it all up here can't forget yeah. it if you've only just thought of it <laughs> thanks thanks for um, the raid casual uh we're just yeah, casual sweet boy sweet sweet casual. Casual. Just finishing um but <laughs> the cash. final part of krosnik's donation was and also tom don't let trot tell you otherwise i think your my little pony fan fictions are the best around <laughs> <laughs> They're clearly not. I write them better. Why are you holding out on me, Tom? Why, why have you uh, shared them with me? Elamon <laughs> Dorian has donated. Uh, hello, oh, Roland. That's my question. Oh, Elamon Dorian. It, it's a uh, episode uh, watch uh, update. Hello, Rollers. Episodes watched, 101. Episodes remaining. We did it, boys! Finished date. We did it. 20th yeah. of February, it a day ahead of schedule. Now the Amazing. monotonous weekly wait for more Erois. Written review as requested on week three, best show on Twitch. Caleb Mondorian, oh, you need more. Aww. Thank you very much. You need Kayla. more. Curse of Strahd. There you go. That's something for you to watch. Now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, shit. New homework. Oh, shit. Many, many, many series that we've done in the past yeah. as well. Yeah. There's loads. There's loads. Uh, Marsh Tomp. I knew Here that. Mm, <laughs> there it sinister. is. Here we go. They we held go. their Tom. action. Tom, recap. Katie, Kim, Troth. <laughs> 
happy birthday, Mochi and Matt. Guess who? Wait, you already know. It's your supple boy, Marsh Tom. It me. Watching this ep is like watching one of my Japanese animes, an anime to surpass Vanguard. Monka, hmm, much supple intrigue. The second donation. Matt, do you know a very Marsh Tomp thing to do is? The unexpected, so your supple boy Marsh Tomp is just going to say, uh, keep up the great and fantastic work and clap for Tom for the great play. Marsh Tomp is pleased. And also, re those recaps are fantastic. Third donation. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> It was so good. It was the chosen move to save the team, but uh oh, it only affects, <laughs> affects only one creature. We believed in you, Quill. Just channel A Plumbus's book on tactics. Thank you, Marsh Tom. Thanks, Marsh Tom. You're so supple. You weirdo. Oh, supple yeah. boy. So supple, so abstract. Uh, Torman, the great Torman, has donated Torman. with. Greetings. I have another important question for Mark, and this will make it into a video, just FYI, Mark. What is your favorite Markism? Thank you, you lovely iron sloths. What's your favorite Markism? The weirdest <laughs> one that I still to this day cannot explain is restaurant. I still yeah. I don't yeah. I don't know where yeah. it came from or why. <laughs> like nap neck, that's a bit of dyslexia. Fish, like bro. all of like <laughs> Yeah, a scree scrope is just, again, oh, like nice. things like that is just purely dyslexia where I'm trying to say too many yeah. things and my words get meddled up. Restaurant was not even a remotely connected one. word. Yeah. And it just, what? What did I say? <laughs> when my words get meddled up. <laughs> I, I, I said me mudded up, med meddled up, meddled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine. It's all right. There you go. You know, don't worry. Just making making fun of like you know this, my my failures. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. That's all right. This, this well, non dyslexic privilege bullying. over here. <laughs> it's bullying. Yeah. Is what it bullying. Is. Well, well, what it is. There you go, uh, tour man. And uh, thanks for watching today's tour man video. Like and subscribe for more tour man content. I listen, time. tour man. J J Knight does a bunch as well. Like, is it J Knight that does a bunch as well? J K. Yeah. Um, J K. Hayes. J Hayes. J Hayes. J Hayes. That's the one. J yeah. Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jay lots of very legend. fun stuff. They do some really yeah. good uh, uh, high rollers comp um, videos. Go sub up. Yeah. And Torman, I love Torman as well. Jay Hayes, Torman. Yeah. I was, I was just being a professional YouTuber, just making a full intro outro video for Torman. Spe speaking of subbing up, uh, high rollers D and D. We're almost at ninety k subscribers, by the way. We're at eighty nine point oh, nine. Very good. So point. yeah, mm. we're very close. Come on, come 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 chuck a few subs our way. Where are we? 89.9k. A... Listen, yeah. go out there, tell every single person you know to come and sub to our channel and watch it. But also get us to that 100k, guys. I want to get that button. Yeah, give me that button. Plaque. You know, they don't. They don't even the first away. two chapters anymore. 11k. So the recap. They don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have to. Anyway. Bhutan. Anyway. Anyway. Good we imagine. want Bhutan. Uh, Newton we has donated with. Button. So here we are, finally. Mark has finally reached the point of affection where he's willing to suffocate his friends by subbing them, su st shoving them into his <laughs> gas oh! until they blow oh, up. Was that a really? tummy oh! oh! Was that a little stumble? <laughs> Mark has finally reached a point of affection where he's willing to suffocate his friends by shoving them into his gassy fart box until they blow up. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, I already Colonel... did that to Tom and Rhea in a Chaos Twins once. Yeah, he did. It was awful. <laughs> Colonel Galanodal, I'm too deep in Mark's gassy pit to escape. I can't. <laughs> That's the end. Uh, <laughs> Nightgar. <laughs> <laughs> Nightjar <laughs> has donated so with... Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's new in a mud kit. Uh, sorry, Marsh Tom. Yeah. Um, oh, Nightjar, fucking corridors every time. Yes, indeed. Daft Day Forty One yeah. has donated with no message. Thank you very much, Crispy, with a half hundo. After that episode, oh, I think I need a cup of tea and a good lie down. 
Wow, great job, everyone. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, very Bale much uh, of Bale Draws fame. Um, that Ooh. was so stressful. Oh my God, I'm so glad no one died. Amazing, uh, guys. Even Mal lived. Congrats on the level up as well. Love to see it. You love to see it. Also, the recaps are so funny. I look forward to uh, bullying, my, oh. bullying my friends into watching them. Thank you very much, Bale. Oh, thank you. Um, Thanks, Bale. And we had gifted subs uh, from Crispy. Recall gifted 100 today, making 1,000 overall. Mm. Oh my Thank god, Recall. What? Right. what? A thousand. Recall! Lifetime a thousand. Um, yeah. Being Wolfie, Jolar, KB Mans, D Miller 1841 with a, with a uh, quarter hundo gifted subs. Jolar again, Cooper Orc, Anonymous Gifter, and Jolar again, again. So thank you all for the gifted subs. There were some bits thank from Trumpole, Moose Tracks Gaming, Ligaratus. Oh, Ligaratus. Uh, Somber Polecat 69420. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and there was Yogdonos. Follow Envey with no message. Thank you very much. And Ace of Thorns, uh, who says, just a quick round of hugs. Stay awesome. Stay safe, okay? We'll bang, okay? That just reminded me of that. We'll bang, okay. Other, <laughs> there was uh, also a best sub message from Soma Billiards, hoping against hope for a make the owl hoot so a guard thinks it's bedtime scenario in this compound. <laughs> what a great play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to go to bed. See you later. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Night. <laughs> Night. Amazing. Uh, and that is everything. Thank you very much. Everybody. That's everything. Oh, thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for your generosity, for supporting the show. Seriously, we always say it, but like, you know, donations and subs and stuff are amazing. We th we're so grateful to them. But if you can't, if you can't donate, if you can't sub, you can still massively help support us by going out there and getting new people to watch the show, talking about the show. One of the biggest things is being in the UK and not being in the US where a lot of the D&D community and culture is. Sometimes, like, High Rollers, it, it kind of falls out of frame. So the best thing you can do is talk about it and get people watching it. It is literally the best way you can help support the show massively. Yes. Um, so mm. please go and do that, especially with the recap. T -shirts. And with t-shirts. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, go out there and uh, do that stuff. But also buy merch as well, because that's also a good thing. Wear the t-shirt. Um, and you get and something for yourself. Right. Then. <laughs> exactly. Like Wear the t-shirt. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. Also, we just That's hit hype train somehow. Oh. Nice. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody. Joe four. Lara and a bunch what, of other people. Yeah, thank you happened. very much. Right. Thank you, what everyone. Happened? we got to go. we got to go. Yeah. Thank it's, you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We love Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> night, night all. <laughs>